Hello, my name is Sparta. Welcome to the simulation. Guys, I'm back I'm with Phineas. He's all over me because we haven't seen each other in a week, me and Phineas. I was out of town, out of town unexpectedly. Can you guys see the game? Hold on. So, this game takes a minute to show up on stream for me for some reason. Okay. Hold on. But, but, uh, he heard me say his name and now he's showing me his butt. I don't want to see your butt. Phineas is my cat, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. <laughs> okay, apparently I stopped the... I saved at the end of a day, so see yeah we did pretty good last week i guess <laughs> okay let's see olive oil i'll tell you guys i'll give you guys all the tea hold on olive oil hot sauce and rice olive oil hot sauce rice olive oil whoop look at this i need my hand to play i need my hand to play the game he's trying to force me to pet him olive oil rice shoot what was the last thing If I look around, maybe we'll remember. Olive oil, rice. It wasn't a sushi. I don't think it was cheese. No, I don't think it was a cleaner. No. Olive oil, rice. Mm. Anyway, I guess I'll look around. Um, anyway, yeah, so basically... My family member got food, really bad food poisoning and was stuck in the hospital two hours away from where they live in a totally different city. And all of my family, we all live on, most of us live on the East Coast and they live on the West Coast. So me and my mom were like, well, we could work remotely, so let's just get a flight ASAP and just help them out, you know? So that's why we were gone for a whole, I was gone for a whole week. It was very, very, uh, you know, just a very sudden thing. So, I'm back. I, and I haven't seen my cats. I'm sorry to give Phineas a kiss. But my family member's better now. They're back to work. Slowly but surely, they're getting getting back, back in the groove. So yeah, that's the scoop. Also, I got a promotion. One of my jobs randomly, like... One of my part, I got like two part-time jobs and one of them's like, we need you full-time. And I'm like, okay. So now we do a lot of financial stuff for them. But I had to start, um, I had to do the training remotely because I was in a different state. So that's the scoop. But honestly, guys, honestly, uh, I do, that's going to be a good thing, I think. Because um, I'll, make more, I'll make more consistent money, first of all. Second of all... When I worked a full-time job, I streamed. I was able to schedule my streams better because my schedule was predictable because it was the same every day. So uh, I think I'm going to be able to start doing that again. I think I'm going to be able to have a stream schedule again, guys. This is it. This is all looking good. Um, I can't find the one thing that changed price. Anyways, yeah, that's all the scoops I got. I'm a little pope, but I said, you know what, let me stream, because that's all I've been thinking. Every, every night, I would be in bed in, like, a hotel or whatever, and I'd be like, man, I miss everybody. I missed you guys so much. I miss this the, this game in particular. I also really miss The Sims 2. I'm also not sure, I'm not, I, I think I'm going to stream The Sims 2 on Sunday, but I think I'm going to stream it at night, because Sunday's Easter, and my family... Uh, lately, we, I think they booked like a restaurant we're gonna go to, so it's probably not gonna be like a long thing. So I'm probably gonna be free at night. So I'll do a night stream. And then I think that's our 99th Strange Town stream. I think we're almost at 100. I can't, I'm gonna stop trying to predict. The weirdest things keep happening to me, and I'm just gonna just stop trying to predict when the 100 stream's gonna be, and I'm just gonna let you guys know when it actually is. Like, I'll give an announcement. Oh, here, maybe this was it. This one's really different. Maybe it was the shampoo. Okay. All right, let's see how we're doing on restocks. Anything we desperately need back here, let's see. Ooh. We need the waters, French fries, hummus, 
water, french fry hummus. Oh yeah, I have to be the cashier. Oh, flip. <laughs> uh, it's okay, guys. I'm a little tired, but I could do it. I could do math, maybe, a little bit. Um, water. Uh, hummus. Oh, guess what, guys? I got, I got a, a my job gave me a bookie board. <laughs> For getting a promotion <laughs> a book you know like the i don't know uh not like the kind that goes in the water the kind that you write notes on and it disappears so i should use this to help me with this game <laughs> uh i haven't used it actually for work yet but i will use it for my stream oh french fries um salmon salmon oh look i'm writing things down guys because i don't have the brain cells to remember fries excuse me finny i okay Bleach, blue cleaner. Okay, what's this? Soap, dish soap. Uh, what's this? Vodka. No, we got too much already. Okay. I'm just doing things that we urgently need right now, and then we'll look at the shelves. Um, toilet paper, elbow pasta, chocolate. Yellow sugar, chocolate. Bruh. Oh, shoot. That's a good hello. What's up? I'm back. I'm back uh, from Grand Theft Auto V land. From California. Okay. I'm back. Oh, scared me. chocolate are we having a good friday uh not yet it's gonna be friday in like an hour for me i got like an hour to go it's still thursday for me <laughs> so not yet but i hope you're having a good friday oh. my family's like you gotta make sure you eat fish tomorrow you can't eat meat that's i don't know if that's an italian i think that's an italian thing so i don't have fish I just got back from my trip. I don't have groceries. I was gonna. I was just gonna eat macaroni and cheese. I think that's okay because it's not meat. Okay, let's see, little tiny uh, bread we need. Okay, got my got my shopping list. Actually, it's kind of a vibe, guys. Making a list and go instead of going back and forth 500 times and forgetting everything. All right, salmon. Oh, salt we need. Salmon, salt, fries. Uh, I wanted, actually, I was, um, I was next to one of the Lego lands I wanted to go. <laughs> Obviously, we weren't there for vacation, and I had to still work remotely. Um, I said one day. Also, there's no, there's no reason for me to go to Lego land. I'm, like, a grown-ass adult, and, like, Lego lands for, like, five-year-olds, but, like, what did I write? Okay, toilet paper. I don't know. Oh, blue cleaner. I said, I'm sorry, I cursed a little bit, guys. My bad. I keep throwing you guys off sometimes when I do that. I've been really, I've been, I'm so poop, guys. I was on the plane. I was, I had to go to the office after because I got that promotion. I got, I got home, at, like, I didn't even get home. I, I went, I went to my parents' house because that's where my cats were because my brother was watching my cats. Shout out to my brother. Um, oh, shoot, I bought him a gift and I forgot to give it to him. Oops. I gotta remember to do that next time I see him. Yellow sugar. Oh wait, we're at 10. Oopsie. Did I get this? I'm like 500 things behind. I'm not paying attention. Whoops. Whoopsie. I'm trying my best. Uh, anyway. Right. All right, anyways, let's see. Oh, look, they're waiting on me. I'm taking too long. Oh yeah, no running, no running because it makes me motion sick, okay? Yell at me if I start running in this game, okay, guys? <laughs> anyways, yeah, that's, oh, that's, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a lot of stories, you know? I don't really have a lot of uh, events that happened. It was just mainly just hanging in the hospital and then, uh, Help my family member drive back all the way to their house and then, you know, getting them settled in. And that's that. 
went on some airplanes. I like just went, as you guys know, I like just went to Seattle. I live on the East Coast and I just drive to Seattle for a business trip. And then when I, when I got back, I was like jet lagged and then it was daylight savings. <laughs> And then I finally got used to it, and then now I went to California. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm gonna have a normal sleep schedule for a while. Oof. But that's okay. It's, uh... Makes, keeps things, keeps me on my toes, you know? Everything's keeping me on my toes lately. You never know what's gonna happen next. But yeah, that's the good, good news, is that I think I'm gonna have a stream schedule now. I, I promise, guys, I think I'm gonna have a stream schedule now, because I have a full-time... 9 to 5 now. 9 to 5. A predictable schedule. Maybe I'll even make one for next week. Who knows? No, we'll see. We'll see. Actually, I could use a snack. I was thinking about hummus. I'm like, I could go for some hummus right now. Like I said, I'm so off. I think I did eat a while ago. I ate, I, I came home from the office to my parents' house because that's where my cats were. And I just like ate a bunch of snacks and then I like went to sleep for like, oh, how long did I sleep? I think I slept like four hours or something. I didn't mean to. And then I went to run errands and I'm like, oh yeah, everything's like closed now. I like woke up late. <laughs> Everything was closed. I forgot. I, I'm so off. Um, yeah. Wait a minute. There's so much salmon. I ate a salmon pizza over there. It was good, actually. Every time I go on a trip now, I end up eating salmon for some reason. I don't know if it's a curse or what, but I mean, it's not a bad thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why it would be a curse. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see. We need beer, little beers. Oh, here I got, I got my uh, note thing. <laughs> little beers. We need candy. We need more bleach. We need red pasta. Honey cereal. I never got that elbow pasta, my bad. My cart was full. <laughs> Oopsie. We need one one toilet paper and one bleach. Also, I would like to get why is there a cereal there? Oh, because the other Huh? Where's the other cereals? Wait a minute. Why is there a cereal there? Never mind. I could buy one. Okay. That's weird. Maybe I bought too much before. And then what's this? Crab? Crab. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good week. I was thinking about you guys a lot. I never got the prize, did I? I wish I had things to post. I was trying really hard. I couldn't take pictures because I was driving all the time, you know, when I was on the road and stuff. I wanted to take like some scenery pictures or something for you guys. And then medium eggs. Eggs. But I couldn't because I was driving all the time. And that would be dangerous. <laughs> I'm not a go multitasker when I'm driving. I don't even change I don't even change music when I'm driving. I just I say, oh well, it is whatever's on the radio is what's on, or whatever's on my playlist is what's on the playlist. Honey cereal. Elbow pasta. Toilet paper. Crab. I'm grabbing that, it's on sale. Um, fries. I can go for some fries right now. 
eggs. You know what I wanted so badly for some reason when I was on my trip? I wanted the shamrock shake at uh, McDonald's. And I actually ended up, I accidentally stumbled on it. I was doing my fam family member's laundry at a laundromat. And then when I was waiting for everything, I was like, oh, I'm going to walk. You know, I'm like, we're going to walk. And then we turned a corner. We were walking and walking and walking. And I'm like, it's McDonald's. I'm like, let's see if we have the shamrock shake. <laughs> and they did. They still had it. I got a shamrock shake. It was like, the honestly, that was like the highlight of my trip. <laughs> when I got that shamrock shake and then I drank it so fast I was like so full I was like I forgot to even I was so cute and green and cute and I want to take a picture of it and I totally forgot I just drank it I was just so excited it's like a very exciting moment for me I saw that Wendy's has a creamsicle drink a creamsicle frosty I don't think I would like that I always thought I would like creamsicle, but like every time I try something that's creamsicle flavored, it's always too sweet for me. Ooh, which I never really thought something would be too sweet for me, but <laughs> I don't know, something about the creamsicle is a little it's a little too potent for me or something. I don't know. I saw that on uh First I saw it on no not TikTok, I don't have TikTok. I saw it on YouTube Shorts. Because I like to watch people eat food on YouTube Shorts, so it always recommends me people eating food. Uh, fair enough. And then, um, I got an email about it. Wendy's is like, come and get the creep skull. I like Wendy's because I could eat the chili there and I could eat, like, the baked potatoes there. And Frosties aren't too shabby. Although I do prefer, like, the McDonald's, like, shakes and McFlurries over uh, Frosties. No offense to Frosties. I used to love them when I was a kid. Uh, okay. Extra rice. Where does the rice go these days? Here. I guess I could open. Everything's on the shelves. Okay. Little beer. Okay. All good. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I have to. I have to be the cashier. I forgot. Okay. Get in the zone. Getting in the zone. Getting in the math zone. I got this. Okay. Math. Math. It's almost midnight for me. I got this. I'm jet lagged. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. I just went to the office and I took a nap. It's fine. I got this. Oh man. I'm trying to think if I have any exciting stories. It was pretty uh, uneventful. I'm gonna, I can't lie. My week was pretty uneventful. Mine is getting a promotion. That was really random. I mean, it wasn't random, cause uh, I got skills. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, okay, money. Uh, have a good morning. Okay, yeah. So basically, what's going on here is that I have my lines were getting too long, and customers were complaining with only two cashiers. So I had the right level to get another register but I don't have the right amount of checks, checkouts that I did to hire another cashier. So now I had to get a register and I have to be the cashier because we have to hit the number of, the correct number of checkouts. I have to do it. Not, not those NPCs guys uh, that I hired. But oh, every day we only get like, actually I don't remember. Hold on, Phineas, it's, uh, tr I'm trying to give this lady change. Four. Yeah. Um. 
Excuse me, bud. Sorry, my cat's standing in front of everything. But we don't- I think we only do like- how many? Hold on, I had a note somewhere. I remember I was tracking it. I think we do like 30 a day, usually about 30 a day. And we need like- I think we need like 800. Here, Phineas, would you like to sit on my lap, bud? Here. Here, you could fit if I back up a little for you. Oopsie. Wanna see here? Come cuddle. Come on. It'll be fun. <laughs> I got a fuzzy blanket on. Yeah. Okay. No customers want to come to my line. <laughs> they never want to come here. Anybody? Okay, here, here, here. Whoa. Oh, customers, customers. I gotta concentrate. Jeez. I think that uh, I, I really, really want a new outfit and hairstyle for my avatar. I have this, I've had this idea for like half a year now. And I think I might just start the process. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna spend any money this year on it, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see how my finances are with my uh, <laughs> promotion. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. It's fun. It's fun to think of like uh, new stuff, you know? I don't know, I think it's fun. I can't help it. It's- at least I could just- maybe I'll just do like a- you know, I'm not artistic, so I'm one of those who do like a- I make like a collage for the artist. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like I find a bunch of pictures online and I'm like, I want the hair to be this color, in this hairstyle, and I'm like this outfit, you know, like that. Uh... Oh, no, wait, uh. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> I don't know. Ooh, that's a lot of big giant chickens. And he's trying to leave, hold on. Here, bud. Guys, I'm concentrating really, really, really hard. <laughs> also, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm pressing, I'm triggering my uh, facial expressions here when I press by, uh, numbers. Two. I still gotta change that, and I haven't done it. Okay, gotta get the light on, gotta make sure I'm not angry. Okay. Does everything seem fine? Oh, it looks like we're running out of that big beer. Hold on. Yeah, let me order that before it gets too late. Whoa. Let me help a little. I wonder, I wonder, um, I tried to find out how often this game, like, updates, because I tried to go on their Twitter, but they haven't used their Twitter in a while, last, well, although I did check last week, I, I have not been on Twitter or anything, all week I was gone. So, I think we just gotta go by, like, the, the blog posts or whatever on, um, Steam? 
I gotta check that out, I guess. Like dish cleaner. Okay. No one wants to go to my register. Never mind. Turn the light. Yeah, I did. It's not dark in here. I'm losing my dang light. I say that every time I stream. I'm losing my dang light, but it's true. I can't just stream when I'm tired. I'll have a better schedule, guys. I promise. Let me see. Is there chicken? No. It's too late to buy chicken anyway. Is that all the customers? Oh, there's one more customer. Schedule. Uh, it's gonna be uh real. I promise. It's gonna happen. It's it's real. help out with the eggs. A little egg. Buy chicken at 2am for extra flavor. Yes! <laughs> I wish I could. At 9 o'clock they uh, stop me from ordering stuff. Oh, someone, someone went to my register. No way. I didn't know there was someone still shopping. Yay, that's good for me. One step closer to hiring another cashier. Let's see where we're at. Um, Management hiring. Okay, so... We're at 777 checkouts. We need to get to 900. So, yeah, math, I don't know. Let me write that down. We're at 777, okay. Is that good luck or something, maybe, you think? I hope so. Yeah, so we usually we get 50 something customers every day. And then so about a third of those go to my register. So if you math, then you can figure out how many more days we need. Okay, tea, tea hummus, soda, bread. Tea, tea, I'm writing this down. Tea, hummus, soda, bread. It goes so too, too fast for me. <laughs> uh, they should keep that on the screen a little longer for me. How are you? Okay, T hummus. Hummus. Soda. Which soda? If it stayed a little longer, <laughs> I think I would have found out. Or Bread? Is that what I wrote? Glad you're good. Another Thursday today. They showed off new grass. Oh my gosh. I gotta look. When I'm laying in bed later, I'll look at that on my phone. How exciting. Newspapers. I'm excited. Oh yeah, let's order those things. help. Oh, well, I got the perfect amount of chicken. Uh, up here. Is that the news? Nope, it was the wind. Oh, sorry if my heater is loud, guys. It's really, it's really cold in here. I keep going to the wrong side. Okay, let's see. 
We need tuna. The pizza with the black box. I'm trying to write neater now because I was having a hard time reading my own handwriting. The dark coffee. Mm. One bleach. One toilet paper. Let's see. Dish soap we can put. Okay. We need... Is that the big sushi? I think that's the big one. Big sushi. I'll get one little sushi too. Okay. Potatoes. We need lots of potatoes. And brown sugar. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sloppy. <laughs> um, okay. The orange flower. I'm running out of room. We need the yellow chips. Okay. The white rice. Three potatoes at least we'll need. Okay, let's go get that order in. Tuna. Pizza. Coffee. I want to get better at making coffee. I tried so much different coffee places when I was out. Am I gonna get better? No. Am I gonna find anything to help myself? No. Am I gonna research it? No. Sushi. In my head, I think it's gonna be a buy, but I know I'm not. I'm not actually gonna. Take the time to learn. Yellow chips. Okay. Let's see if I can help with anything here. I was thinking of eating a tuna sandwich tomorrow because my mom wants me to eat fish <laughs> for Good Friday. <laughs> well, that's that's fish. Now I'm to go to the store. I I need to go grocery shopping, but come on, in, Phineas. I don't think I'm gonna wanna because a I'm jet lag. B I gotta work all day. Oh, excuse me, Phineas, I can't see. I think I just want a nice, lazy day. I'm finally home after over a week. Just want to be with my cats all cozy inside, <laughs> inside the house. Also, I thought it was going to be warm where I was going, but it was kind of cold. It was cold and rainy the whole time, which I don't mind, but I just thought it was going to be... Oh. <laughs> Phineas, why'd you hit me with your tail? What the heck? Just didn't expect it. I didn't prepare enough. I th I, sh I brought like a coat just in case it was cold, but I didn't bring one with a hood and I should have brought one with a hood because it was raining a lot. Not bad. I used to I used to wear hoodies a lot, so I usually didn't I didn't care if I had a hood on my coat because then I could just take the hoodie, you know, hood and just put it through, but I haven't been wearing I don't I think I've had a war hoodie in a really long time, but I'm just in that habit now. It's been raining the last few days here also. Yeah, uh, where I was, it was raining, and then also uh, where I am now, everyone kept saying it was raining over here too a lot. 
It's raining everywhere, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna start making a new list here. I see there's a lot of things missing. I wonder if they put things on, if I fill it up while they, they are out with the box, I wonder if they find a random slot and put it in there. Like that's why that maybe that cereal was there. You know what I missed? I'm the car I was driving. Couldn't figure out how to get my music to play. I miss jam. Listen, if I've been to music, you know my own music. That was a uh, nice when I got back. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I forgot to buy that rice. The white rice, chocolate cereal, hot sauce. Penny's always wants to get in and out. He can't make up his mind <laughs> ever. Okay. I can't even see through the windows anymore if I need to uh, stock something. I'm just trying to keep- honestly, they're faster than me now. When I'm like, uh, restocking in the day, like they- I mean in the mornings, they like, are waiting for me. <laughs> Outside, they're like, uh, we're done. So I'm trying to hurry and put things on the shelf for them, and then I'll help them out if they need help. I miss restocking though, like when the customers are here. I think I'd rather do that than the, um, register. <laughs> Maybe we'll need bread, too. I think we need some meat here. Let me do that real quick. Which one was it? I think it was the steak we needed. No. The other one. Oh, you got it. Okay. Let's see, bleach, toilet paper. We need some bread. Um, zap. We need. We need one orange juice, one milk. And big eggs. Big eggs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, toilet paper. Bread. <gasps> Thank you, Guido. Thanks, Tizantine. I'm the one good. Thanks for asking. How are you? Bread went up. Orange juice, milk. Glad you're good. Getting ready for bed one say hi. Good night. Thanks for popping in. I probably should be going to bed, but I'm all off now. My time is off. <laughs> Well done, steak. Oh, I thought you were complimenting me. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm really thirsty, guys. Sometimes when I take a little break from streaming and I come back, I forget I like have to drink while I stream. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, why am I thirsty? Because I'm talking. I'm talking to a wall for like an almost an hour. Night night. <laughs> well done, steak. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Dang, we're really going through stuff today. We need oils. More bleach already? Oh wait, I probably didn't, I just didn't put it away yet. <laughs> right. Just, uh... Yeah, then I, after this, I want to check all the shelves, these shelves, and see if there's anything that sells fast that we should get boxes, because I'm not going to be able to restock during the, when the store's open, because I'm going to have to concentrate on the register. So I want to make sure it's really stocked back here. Um... Oh, let's get some of that parm pasta. Oh yeah, and then the oils. Let's get one black tea. Uh, oh, we need boxes of beer. Okay. Um... Maybe we'll get soap and shampoo. And then I think everything else looks okay. No one ever buys that, like, box potato. Maybe I'll get the blue rice, too. Just one. Welcome back, Phineas. You're on my list, bud. I can't see the keyboard. I'm one of those people that I have to glance at the keyboard every time I type. Here, Phineas, here. You want to get up, bud? Here. Oh, oh shoot. I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> My bad. Oopsie. Oil. I have all my boxes of, um, I just, like, abandoned everything when I went. I have, um, my boxes of VTuber cards. I was organizing them before I left, and they're all just sitting next to my desk, like, in a mess. <laughs> Oops. Um, beer. I'm still deciding on what I want to do with them. All my extras. Also, I bought myself, um, bigger, what do you call it? Um, because I don't know if you guys remember those little binders I had for my cards. I totally, I have so many Hollow Life cards. I totally ran out of room. I have no room left. I bought too many. I mean, I made lots of mistakes, <laughs> but, uh, oh, thanks for the hydrate. I can't decide if I want to hoard them and like, I don't know, I have this like, in my head, I'm like, what if I get brave one day and I start going to like conventions and I could trade them with people? Like, I don't, first of all, I don't know if people collect YouTuber cards like I do. Like, like, I think, I don't know, I feel like the only people who really buy them are people who buy, play the actual games, you know? I don't actually play the card games. Or I was thinking... The other part of me, I want to, like, give them away, but, like, I don't really know anyone to give them to. Also, another thing is, like, I'm like, maybe I could find, like, a hobby store or, like, a, a card shop that would, might want them. Like, I'm not looking to make money. I just, I just don't know if, I don't, I don't know. I just, like, I don't know. I kind, I kind of, I'm kind of in this phase where, like, I'm feeling bad about things that just sit around and collect dust, you know? And like, I'm like, someone could be enjoying this, like someone, you know, someone else could have this. So, I used to really be big into like donating things to like, uh, like thrift stores and stuff, but I'm starting to realize that maybe my hobbies are a little niche and like, uh, I, they throw things away and like, it's, but if I, like, if I donated a VTuber thing to the thrift store, which I wouldn't do, <laughs> but if I did that, like, most likely it ends up in the trash because what's, what are the chances that someone... Oh my gosh, guys, I actually saw I actually saw a VTuber in the wild. Not a VTuber, a VTuber fan in the wild when I was on my trip. That's the most that's what, what exciting thing. I saw someone with a water bottle and on their water bottle they had a Hollow Life Girl sticker on their water bottle. And I was like, no way. 
I saw an actual VTuber fan in real life. I didn't say anything to them, but I was very excited. I was like, see, if I had my card right now, I would give them, if I had my hollow life cards in my pocket right now, I would give them cards of their Oshi, okay? I forgot to hit the black tea, didn't I? I was also like, maybe I should sell them in like Oshi packs, you know what I mean? Like, not to make profit or anything, but just so like people can like be like, just people who are fans of that particular VTuber can buy cards to collect with them, but I don't know if people want to do that like I do. Like, have a binder full of like cards. <laughs> I don't know. Am I like a child, like in the Pokemon days with the binders? Maybe. That's just what I like to do with cards. That's why I never buy magic cards, because I don't I know I'm never gonna play because like I can't play card games or board games. I have a really hard time. Uh it's too it's too too socially intense for me. <laughs> oh look, we need uh peanut butter. But um I know if I, I start buying them, I would wanna collect them in like with the night the ones with nice artwork. That's how I am with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I haven't bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a while, but I like to keep I used to like to keep the ones, just, just the artwork that I liked, or like the the cards that I recognize from the show. Alright, I need to get on the register. Okay. Alright, I am ready. Anyways, I think too much about it. I think too much and then I do nothing. <laughs> That's the thing. But like I was watching a video, I like there's this guy on YouTube and he goes to like conventions. I used to collect Magic the Gathering cards, saw them all a year ago. I mean, if he doesn't, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, I watched this guy on YouTube and he goes to like um, VTuber conventions, like Hololive conventions. And I saw him and whenever I, I miss them, oh no. See, that's another thing too, is like, I'm like, what if one day I get really nostalgic and I want like all of them, you know? That's another thing. Ugh. My mom's been trying to convince me to get rid of my Legos for years. They're in her garage. Like, never, never. <laughs> that one's for the, the, the kids, the great grandkids, the great great grandkids. That's gonna be in our family for generations, okay? The Legos are not gonna dis disintegrate. All right. Oh yeah, so I was watching this guy and I saw that when um, people recognize him at the conventions from either like, oh, are you a YouTuber? He he uh, has cards in his backpack and then he takes them out, cards from like other conventions of like uh, VTubers, like uh, Life Girls. And then he's like, which one do you want? I'm gonna give you a gift. It's so cute. And like, I'm like, that's what I wanna do. I wanna, I wanna make people happy and I wanna like, give them cards. <laughs> he's living the dream. I wish I could go, I wish I could go to VTuber conventions. I love collecting random things. I have a binder of business cards from people who come to Otakon. Oh my gosh, I used to do that too. When I was a, when I was a kid, every time we went somewhere, I would grab the business card and I would put it in a binder. Uh, my parents probably threw away that binder, I just realized. I don't know what happened to that binder. I had a rock collection. I used to collect so many things when I was a kid. RP my rock collection, don't know what happened to that. What else? I had an eraser collection. Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Working on Amen Cons, I meet so many cool people. Oh, that's so cool. I've been trying to convince myself to go to one. I haven't been to one since I was uh, in high school, I think. That must have been like, gosh like 2009 or something. 
Maybe even, I don't know, somewhere around there. But I'm not really a so very social person, so I'm like, I don't know if I should. I always convince myself not to go because I know I, I wouldn't want to go. I don't really know what to do. You know, what? honestly, I don't know what to do at conventions sometimes. I like to walk around and like buy stuff, but like then I'm like, okay, I don't know. I wish I was more chatty and stuff with people. This year, Otakon's 30th anniversary. Oh, really? Am I saying that wrong? I'm probably saying that wrong. Let me see. I'm Googling it. It's in Washington, D.C. Now, you, look, now, now I'm going to convince myself I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, like a taku. Okay. Otakon. I've definitely heard of it. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> like most things on the internet. <laughs> I see the word. I make it up in my head when I was how to read it when I was like 11. And, and I've just been reading it in my head like that since. And I've never said it out loud. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I give people too much change. Guys, come to fit my line. This is my 21st year working. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's awesome. I like to miss myself for five seconds. I was going to go to TwitchCon, but I definitely don't. I definitely, I don't think... I don't know what the heck I would do with TwitchCon. Like, what is- I, I can't- I don't understand TwitchCon. <laughs> like, as a viewer. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would- like, what do you do? Like, I know that when you're, like, an affiliate- not an affiliate, a partner, they have, like, special, like, events for, like, partners, like, parties and stuff, but, like, what do, like, us viewers do at, like, TwitchCon? Just walk around? Like, what's there? Like, video game stuff? I don't even know. Like, I can't- I honestly don't know. I can't imagine. I have a hard time, like, wrapping my brain around TwitchCon. I only ever hear, um... P Twitch partners talk about it. They're like, ah, oh, the party, this, that, this, you know? I only ever hear from their perspective, so, like, I really have no idea what it's like for a viewer. So much at TwitchCon, my friend ellie goes every year oh that's awesome i i maybe i should like find like vlogs or something from like people who go that's what i like to do i like to watch vlogs of people go to like conventions no soda sorry my bad uh i'm not mad guys i'm not mad at the customer I really should use that quarter more often. Parties. She streamed her whole time here online. Let me pause. Oh, panels. Mm-hmm. Live stream her whole time in Vegas this past year while at the con. It was cool. Oh, that's awesome. You see, I don't know, because like... I don't know. I don't know if I could do. I'm a little too. Sh I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit afraid to go to panels. <laughs> I'm like, what if I'm taking a seat? Like sometimes they fill up, and I'm like, what if I'm taking a seat of like a mega fan of something? You know, like I don't know. I've never been compelled enough to like, a, as a fan of something, to like go to a panel of it. And then I'm not social enough for parties. <laughs> so. I feel like I want to have an adventurous year, maybe like in a couple of years from now, where I just like travel to a bunch of different conventions. I don't know, maybe like, maybe like three. I want to have like a year where I go to like three different, really different conventions. I don't know. I'm really not a convention goer. I've been to Comic Con a couple times, uh, and I've been to a anime convention. I went to, one time I went to a bottled train convention. My dad's into those little trains. I don't know if I, that's what they're, I don't know if I called that the right thing. 
You know those little trains that go into little tracks and they're so cute? He invited me to go. And it was adorable. I loved it. Oh, I think he got the chicken. Okay, let's see. How many customers customers do we get today? I don't know what I would do at cons. I work them. Ah, oh, it's interesting. A photographer. Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. I'm just really awkward. I just like kind of walk through them really quickly and like sometimes I buy some stuff. One time when I, I don't know, I think I've told this story before. One time I went to Comic-Con and I saw author of um, World War Z, I think it was, and I was really excited. I was actually, I, wait, I was like, I was with my mom. I think I was in high school. I think I didn't have anyone to go with, so I went with my mom. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how how I ended up in a situation. It's interesting. Yeah, I think so. And then, oh wait, a uh, blonde ale. Hold on, let me let me put this in. Okay, well that's the thing is that I was too shy. I was too shy to say hi. So I asked my mom if she could go up and get a book signed for me, and she pretended to. She said she said my name so that he could write my name in the book. <laughs> And I was standing on the side like, hee hee. <laughs> I was too, I was really scared. I was so, <laughs> I met the guy who wrote The Last Unicorn. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You, you could you could see like really, really, really interesting people at conventions. <sighs> I just got to get more. I just got to put myself out there more. I just got to get more brave. I, I'm going to be more brave. I'm going to do it, okay? Maybe not this year, because this year I did a lot of traveling already, but maybe next year. Next year's my year, guys, maybe. I'm going to conventions, it's happening. Also, I really want to. I think like Hollow Life has a convention in like California or something, or like an event, like a concert or something. I really want to go to that. Maybe next year. I should be restocking. Oh, yeah, that soda. We ran out of that soda. Soda chicken. You ever heard of Puppy Umi Umi? Yeah, I, that show. It was the show that had the two uh, singers, right? The two singers, that, and they. Um, is that what that was? Am I, am I thinking of the right show? 2006. I did security for the panel. Oh, that's so cool! I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I remember when that show was going to come out, they did so much advertising for it. I don't know if I've actually watched it live on TV. Hmm. Don't remember. Yeah, Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely like the promo material for it. I remember being really excited. But I don't remember if I actually caught it on TV. They were 14 and didn't speak any English, but they understood it. That's so nice that they came. I appreciate it when people who um, uh, work in media, if they don't speak like the native language of some of the fans, that they still show up to the convention. I think that's really cool. That's so nice. I really appreciate that. Hmm. Blue cleaner, bleach, red pasta. Bleach. I'm writing this down. <laughs> Pasta. Red. Teen Titans lived in a big T. They did live in a big T. I remember that. <laughs> That's true. Was the T for teen or was the teen T for Titans? That's a that's a show. I want to rewatch that show. I I think most of the show the episodes were not episodic, 
but some of them were and when I would watch them on TV I would be like I feel like I missed something I got I feel like I gotta see what the heck was going on in that show T for tower <laughs> Ah, I didn't even think of that. Of course. I enjoy a good cartoon. A nice, uh... I think uh, they're a vibe. They're really relaxing usually, you know? It's nice to watch cartoons. Sometimes, you know? A lot of TV shows and anime and stuff, they're kind of crazy, you know? Which is fun, but sometimes you need to chill. Sometimes you need something a little chill. Alright, let's see. We need spaghetti. We need pink. Pink. Sugar. We need susu sugar. We need chocolate again. Chocolate's been uh, popular. We're gonna get one elbow pasta. Oh, look, I jinxed it. Look, the powder potatoes. I'm like, no one ever buys it. Now it's gone. I'll buy a salt. It sounds like I said assault. In the comics, Rave was like in her 30s while the other Teen Titans were teens. Rave. <laughs> Wait, why was she in the Teen Titans then? Um, we need cheapy cereal. And red and blue flour. All right, let me order those before I keep looking around. Chocolate. I could go for a nice hot chocolate right now. Potato, the box potato, salt, cheapy cereal. Actually, I want to buy a honey cereal too. And then flour. This one and this one. I have a lot of money. Maybe we should upgrade something. I don't know. I feel like we're in a good spot right now for where we're at. Sometimes you just gotta chill. I like to watch cartoons. Sorry, I moved my mic. I should have muted when I did that. Um, I don't know if that made me sorry about that. Um. I like to watch cartoons when I'm sick. <laughs> I like to have them on. Put on something on Netflix. There's some cute shows now. Uh, Piper, when my when Piper goes to my parents' house, my mom puts on Nick, Nick Jr. for her. <laughs> watch them all the time well maybe I, maybe it's just when i'm sick is that's the only time i like play i can't i don't want to play video games you know i just want to lay down <laughs> when i have free time i'm like i want to play a game are you watching you have shoe oh my gosh i i keep every, i'm like cursed when i watch that show every time i watch it i get really into it and then all of a sudden something happens and i just like can't watch it for like a week and then i forget it exists i keep doing that you just reminded me I gotta keep watching that. I don't know why I keep forgetting about it. I was getting really into it too. What the heck? 
It's so weird how that happens. Especially, like, sometimes I think about, like, video games and stuff that, like, I, I play all the time, and all of a sudden one day I just don't. I just don't, and I forget it exists. And then one day I'm like, oh yeah, I used to play that game every day. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Just forgot. The live action show was good, but it rushed so much. Oh, really? I actually didn't hear anyone talking about the live action. I knew it came out, but I didn't hear, like, if anyone liked it or not. So that's good to hear. I always, uh, I remember when that show was airing on TV when I was a kid, uh, on American TV. And I did like the episodes I saw, so I've been trying to watch, you know, watch it all the way through and see what the heck was going on, because I definitely did not know what the heck was going on when I was a kid, and I would catch it on TV, I'm like, hey. I just remember the intro where they, like, explained, like, the show, but, like, other than that, I really had no idea what the heck was going on. Okay. Hello, sugar. I want one sack of potatoes. I'm old too. It's okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being old. Okay, honey. We need... Especially in Twitch... In like Twitter, uh, you know what? Someone said this the other day, and I was thinking about this too recently. I'm like, I, when I was a kid, everyone on the internet was so much older than me, and now all of a sudden, like, I feel like a majority. This, someone said it on Twitter too. Majority of people on the internet seem so much younger than me. Like, what the heck? I don't know. Maybe it's because maybe it's because older people are like separated now from like younger people. Maybe I'm just hip with the kids, and I just hang out where the kids are. Haha. <laughs> Uh, I want to buy all the sauces. Maybe that's why. Maybe, like, all the older people all just, like, go on Facebook now, and they're, like, in Facebook groups. That's why I don't see them anymore. I don't know. We need that, what's it called? The the lighter sugar. I don't I forget what, not sugar, uh, coffee. Light roast? What's that called? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I just wing it. When I, when I order coffee, I just wing it. Hi, Commissar. How are you? You miss me. Oh, yeah, I missed everybody. <laughs> I missed everybody. <laughs> Sorry, it, it took me a sec to read your name. I don't know why my brain was not like processing correctly. <laughs> I'm a little jet lagged. Let's see, honey. Ketchup. Met. Not mustard, mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. I don't have mustard at my store. Um, hot sauce. And that lighter coffee. Yeah, light roast. That's the one. Roast. That's the word I was looking for. No. <laughs> I miss, I honestly, even when I play games like alone sometimes, I'm like, I miss, I miss everyone in the stream. Light roast. <laughs> I don't know what's like the default roast that they give you, but that's just what I drink all the time. Whatever's default. <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like I'm a little afraid of light roasts. To me, if you, I feel like it sounds like it would be just like really watery. I don't know if that's true, but like to my head, that's what it seems like. Don't be miss me after all. That's what background character does. That's how I feel. <laughs> I think I said that on stream before. <coughs> Maybe the background character thing. Like, I'm like... Wait, have I said that? I think I was drunk. <laughs> but, uh... Wait, wait. Uh, should I be going down this road? I don't know. You know, I feel like an NPC, but, like, in, not in a bad way, in, like, a good way. I think it's, I think it's a vibe. I think being an NPC is kind of a vibe. 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, some people they got like main character energy, you know, and some people got NPC energy. And you know what? I'm okay with the NPC. You know, people do forget me. Actually, in like in school, especially like. I would, oh my gosh, I had this teacher. I had this teacher for three classes and then she wrote my like recommendation letter for like university. And then uh, my sister had her like a year after I graduated. And she's like, oh, you had my sister. Do you remember her? And she's like, no, <laughs> I'm not drunk. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. I'm not drunk either. I'm just a little tired. Yeah, teachers, everyone forget about me all the time, but that's okay. I actually didn't mind. I kind of preferred it at the time because I was really shy and I just didn't want to think about people thinking about me. You know what I mean? I don't know. I tried to be as low-key as possible. That was my goal and I accomplished it, I guess. Butter. Let's buy some butter. Let's buy some scallops. Let's buy a chicken. Oh, let's get some cheese, extra cheese. Let's get some of that orange cheese. And let's get one red soda. Okay. I just want to be super stocked up because I'm going to be on the register today. I try to stand out to make people see me sometimes, you know? Make character take stage, bam. Now you're in their shadow. <laughs> yeah, some people just got that energy, you know? Or that personality. I definitely do not. <laughs> you call it university like someone from the UK? Well, it was, it, it, I, I was, I usually call it college, but it was specifically, I was asking her to write a recommendation to a university. <laughs> so that's why I said that. <laughs> okay. I like to- sometimes I like to separate it because I went to- I went to a university, uh, spider lore, I guess. I went to a university on a, a academic scholarship and then I, uh, I- I was, uh, I failed out because I didn't go to class, haha, <laughs> because I, uh, ha ha ha. I was going through a rough time. And, um, then I went to college and then I- I just stopped going to college. I couldn't do college. I was too socially anxious. I would cry in my car. It was too much for me. I just stopped going and I never graduated. So that's my, that's my, that's why, that's why I sometimes I differentiate between college and university when I say that. Okay. Anyways. Ha ha ha. My parents weren't too happy with that one. Anyways. <laughs> um, I'm gonna buy one more of these oils. Anyway, guys, if you're in, if you're uh, have a couple of main character at work, one is the GM and the other is a high schooler going to college in June. Yeah. My sisters are, <laughs> I always, I grew up with main characters. One of them was like the, the cheerleader, what's it called? The, the head cheerleader, what's that, what's that called? Is that what that's called? The person in charge of the cheerleaders, you know? And my other sister's just a YouTuber. <laughs> so, <laughs> she definitely has main character energy. <laughs> Two thirds of uni was online for me. I probably would have done better if it was online. I kind of wish I'd, I waited to go, but oh well. I definitely would have done better with online classes. I was not ready, uh, socially <laughs> for that change in my life, I guess. Okay. At the time, that was a long time ago. 
a long time ago. I don't even know that they even have online classes back then. I guess they did. Actually, I think I did an online class once when I was a kid. It was weird. I don't know why I did that. Anyways. Nobody wants to come here. Oh, I forgot to check and see how many people we checked out yesterday. Oh well. I threw my blanket in on the other side of the room because I was getting too warm and now I regret it because now my feet are cold. That was a mistake. Alright, you guys watch the customers. I'm gonna go get the blanket. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> the high schoolers of age, so I'm um, trying to get her nose me. So we're close in age. And that way, no luck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't even know how to do something like that. I don't even know. I was actually talking to my brother about this. Like, I've been in positions where, like, I want to, uh, like, give a, a girl my number to, like, be friends with her, you know what I mean, or something. And I just never was able to do that. I always had really, really, really hard time. So good luck. I'm just gonna steal things from the store. <laughs> just gone. <laughs> oh, finally, I got a customer. Don't take things from my store, guys, please. Shout out to anyone who has the confidence to uh, be the person to, to make the move in like a friendship or dating situation. Because <laughs> uh, to me, that's really impressive. Oh, not the penny. Uh, no, 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 the dime, the dime. <laughs> uh, I was pressing every, every wrong thing I could press. remember it's used for work purposes. Ah, oh, usually. Mm, it's hard to make that, uh, I could see it being hard to make that transition. Told a woman that I had a crush on her not too long ago. Find out she has a boyfriend. Yeah. But go, good on you for trying. Because then, uh, I think sometimes it's better to just uh, say it, you know, sometimes. Because then you don't think about it, you know what I mean? Then you're not like, what if anymore. Does that make sense? Oh, did I press that too many times? Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. <laughs> a lot of these things are like things I never really uh, talk about uh, out loud. It's hard to talk to people about like, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know. A lot of people, especially when I was younger, when I would try to talk to people about like having a hard time in like specific like social situations and stuff or like how to do certain things that like seem to come naturally to some people like it's just hard to talk to some people about because they just don't understand, like, how that could be hard. It's June hit. I most likely will never see her again. This girl's single, at least, I believe, are her words. Maybe you could, uh, maybe you guys can, like, be friends on social media or something so you could keep in touch. I feel so much better now that I told her. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm really happy for you that you were able to do that. We have ten thousand dollars. I really maybe I should be upgrade. I don't know. I feel like we're in a good spot. Maybe we should get more storage. I really don't know. We're kind of just cruising, you know, chilling. Maybe we should get another food license. Oh, 
Maybe we're due for another food license. I'm like, why do we have so much money? We just don't have this much money. <laughs> both her and I don't use social media for the same reason. <laughs> we both find it stupid. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're not old enough to drink maybe yeah maybe you should ask to do something fun like something you have in common or go somewhere like for a walk I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I'm not good at this. Guys, I never did this before. <laughs> don't, don't... I don't know. <laughs> you know what I... My suggestion is... Uh, that I've suggested to people before. Is... Because uh, I personally... I enjoy... Like cafes. Like places where you get like a drink. Because like there's something for everybody. You know? They got sodas. They got coffees. They got hot chocolate, they have little snacks, and it's like low-key and like not a lot of like fuss, you know? And then you can stay as long or as short as you want. Like some people stay hours at their are sipping their coffee. I don't want to let my cat out. That's what, uh, that's my suggestion, but I've never asked out a girl or a guy, so. Oh. <laughs> food. <laughs> School during lunch hours. I'm at work. Maybe could try to squeeze in a little, a uh, little, a little coffee. <laughs> Was that the beer? Uh, the, 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 I didn't notice. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not paying attention to what the customers are, are buying. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of money. Uh... I'm going so slow today. The kegs? Oh yeah, those are kegs. I don't know, yeah, some people go crazy in this game. <laughs> they buy so much beer. Like, that's such an insane amount. Maybe they're just throwing a really, really, really big party. We could close for a day. I think we sold a lot today. Oh yeah, let's see if we get another license. We could definitely afford it if there is one available. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I have my level 35. I have to be level 42. Okay, so we don't need a license. That's interesting. Let's see how many we have. 813 now. We're almost there, guys. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. We just have to get to 900 uh, checkouts and then we can uh, hire another cashier. Ha ha ha. No oh, pepper. Okay. All right, I'll start with whatever's empty in the back. White water, keg, you're fired. I'm not, are you trying to fire me from, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper, uh, this is my store. <laughs> Both of the sushis we need. Uh, orange flower. I'll get both of the beers, the little beers. Okay. Oh yes, the, that milk. Okay. Boston? Do I say it weird? Do I say it weird? <laughs> Every day I learn that I say things weird when I stream. Okay. 
Is Cursey not allowed in chat? Um, sometimes auto mod catches it. I, I don't, I personally don't mind if you guys curse a little bit here and there, but, um, I try not to curse on stream, personally. That's probably, but I, I think that's just because I was a teacher for 10 years. Or, not I, I, I was a teacher for five years. I was working with kids for 10 years. And I don't like to curse when I'm working because it's just a habit, I guess. I'm not working. Streaming's not working, but I feel like it's like, I try to be professional. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, a, it's like kind of a professional setting is what I'm trying to say. I guess you don't want to. Anyways. Pfft. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sauce door coffee chocolate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Milk. This milk. <laughs> Vodka. Finally, I could put that box up there. I guess vodka sells kind of slow. Hey, bleach. Nope. Don't know why I grabbed that. Trying to pin down the axe and can't tell if it's Midwest or like New England area. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> I know people from Chicago that sound like, oh, you, oh, really? Apparently, I have a. From people who in my area where I lived, and according to my parents, I have a, me and my sisters, we have a, like a blended accent of like two local accents. Because my parents grew up in a place with a really strong accent. And I don't, that used to have a really strong accent, doesn't have one anymore. And then th we grew up in a, in a suburb. So we have like a combo accent, apparently. That's what I've been told. I remember my parents used to talk so differently when I was a kid. Like their accent in me. But I don't really hear people with that accent anymore. Let's see, light roast has been popping lately. Uh, let's get cakes. Cakes are fun. I had to take speech class in grade school, so I don't have an accent like a bunch of people from MD. I probably should have done that. <laughs> I'm always embarrassed to talk now when I go, especially when I travel and stuff. Cause like when I was a kid, like people would tell me all the time. Like, oh, you and your sisters, they all, we, you guys all sound the same. But I didn't, I thought they meant, like, our voice, but I think they meant our accent. Like, I didn't realize how different we sounded from, like, the people we grew up with. And now that I started streaming, I really think about it, and I don't know. Oh, Maryland! <laughs> I've been looked at over promotion many times. First years because the assistant manager had yes to. Oh, God, it's anything. Dress code. And this is a belt. Don't wear a belt. I wouldn't have been more about the prom. <laughs> that looks horrible. You have re unrealistic work ethic ethics. Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. Jobs are really frustrating. Especially because, uh... Jobs are run by humans. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, humans are humans. 
and they have biases and they're not always fair. <laughs> Those things. It's just what it is, you know? And sometimes you leave a job because like you don't like the management and then their next job you're like, it's gonna be a vibe, thank god I'm gone from that job. And then the other job is just bad, and the management's bad in a different way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're like, ah, okay, so anyway. <laughs> I'm back in a different boat, but it's kind of like the same boat. <laughs> yeah. We're all stinky in our own ways. Us <laughs> humans. On to the next next thinking chip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, we need Parmesan. Parm. Let's get a tiny egg. Let's get chicken. Let me get more of that milk. some tiny bread. Okay. Where that can do everything at max speed 24-7. No breaks ever. Oh my gosh. Bare minimum. One person calls in. Oh, we're F. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Be willing to stay from open to close. Ugh, that's exhausting. Older Jam wants people who are going to always put the job first, but it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, you know what it is too is like there's a, this big generational um, difference now because like um, people used to like be taken care of by their jobs. You know what I mean? And they would get like benefits and like retirement and like you know it was like genuinely like some of the, some jobs some I don't know they have this idea that like it's supposed to be like ride or die like a family, but like jobs just aren't like that anymore and like uh they just have a hard time like accepting that i think like i had a conversation with one of my co-workers all my co-workers are a lot older than me and he's like why do young people always like go from job to job like they never like are loyal to a job i'm like there's no reason to be loyal like there's they they, they have no benefits and they'll get rid of you like within a blink of an eye you know and he's like the benefits just aren't what they used to be like in all all the ways even like socially like they just don't treat you the same way. He's like, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. What benefits? Only GM gets one of I know, right? That's how it is. Like, my grandparents, they were, they were factory workers. You know what I mean? And like, not that there's anything wrong with that, but, like, they still get, like, they would get, like, uh, you know, like, checks in the mail, like, retirement, you know, from their jobs that they did. Like, my grandma, she had, like, a job when she was a teenager in Italy, and then she moved to America, and she gets, she gets, like, payments from that job that she had when she was a teenager. Like, isn't that crazy? I, I lost track of what I was buying. Just like crazy how different things are. Also, they were able to like buy a house very young. Very crazy to think how different things are. And they didn't work consistently either, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm so much older than they were when they bought their house probably. And I'll never be able to buy a house, probably. Tiny bread. It's a lot of things. Also, COVID definitely wrecked a lot, especially the service industry. It really wrecked their like standards like uh and like their like loyalty to their customers i feel like because like people would come and go so quickly i mean not their customers i'm sorry their employees their employees they just like really abused like the companies that survived covid especially like food companies like uh you know like a uh, chipotle or something you know like uh just like they were just so brutal on their workers because the online, the ones that survived usually were the ones that were good with the online ordering, but the online systems were just, it was just a lot and it was just too much for. And also like there was like companies like um, Chili's, you know, the restaurant Chili's, they had three ghost kitchens running during COVID. 
isn't that crazy? Like the chefs had to do like the work of four restaur four restaurants for the for the for the the pay of one. Crazy. They think we're all replaceable. Yeah, exactly. Careers no longer exist. It's just jobs. Yes. Franchise companies going as cheap as possible. That's true. It's worse as they're getting rid of the job and now it's more automated. Yeah, that's true. Why? They're like, why is no one working? Exactly. And they want us to work longer for less. Exactly. It's like they complain so much. They're like, nobody wants to work anymore. Yeah, no flip. No one wants to work anymore. They don't want to be abused for no for 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 pennies for no benefits for if they if they get if you get sick and you're in the hospital for two months you know like you're doomed like like you're you're probably you're might like you're gonna be afraid that like they might replace you or like because like there's like they don't care about you replaceable and like the i don't know about you guys but like everywhere i work the health insurance is flipping terrible anyways My 30s, I don't want to work an entire job with 15-year-old kids. Yeah, right? 15-year-old butt butts? Okay. <laughs> butt butt is so weird. I'm not going to get rid of them, though. I don't know. I don't I can't, I don't know about butt butt. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> oh, look, we need yogurt. And I think that's, that's that. I think we could open. Okay, let's get olive oil, yogurt... It's just, uh, we're at a point now where, um, also, like, there's a lot of things going on. Things are just, uh, being made so cheaply and stuff. There's a lot of reasons for that. Like, everyone keeps saying, like, the planes are really showing it now. Yesterday, when I was on a plane, um, this never happened to me before, but we were gonna go on the runway, and they're like, sorry, we're gonna have to be delayed because the plane in front of us that was about to go on the runway just broke down, and they had to be, like, tugged back. I feel so bad for the people that were on that plane because they all got on the plane, all settled in, and then they had to be tugged back, get off the plane, and then they have to find another plane, I guess, for them. Is that crazy? But uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. It's, uh, you know, capitalism. Uh, you know, late stage capitalism, as they say, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that's really the word for it. But, you know, it's like we're at the point where, you know, we got like billionaires, you know, and like. It's like we're not people anymore. We're consumers and workers and I don't know. Anyways, whatever. I really think about starting a hemp or a bamboo farm. That sounds cool. Hi, zombie. The horrors of late stage capitalism memes are getting too real true. <laughs> it's for real. It's real life. It's real life. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, depressing, you know? It's just depressing. It's like an upward trajectory, and like uh, I know I don't talk, I don't allow politic politic talk talk on my uh, chat. So don't say nothing. I'm not saying nothing specific, okay? I'm not breaking my rule, but the politics in America are like on an upward trajectory too, where like uh, they just like are like there's just like no stopping it because like everything's so divided, and like they have too much money. The political, the two political parties, they have too much money and they have too much connections and loyalty to like corporations that are ex extremely, extremely, extremely big. It's just like, it's just very like, uh, it's just uh, depressing. That's all I gotta say about that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, it's like Karl Marx wrote about this years ago. I actually never read that. I don't really, I don't really want to get into that kind of stuff, like, read it about it and stuff, because I feel like I just don't want to think about it, because, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to be, I want, I do not see, you know, like that meme, I do not see, like, that, that was me. I'm going to buy ice cream. I love, love, love Mariah Carey meme. Then you get the, I, yeah, right, um. I was reading a lot of like feminism stuff recently and that really depressed me. It's, it was, uh, you, I was reading, um, 
this book over it's really depressing i didn't finish it yet it just made me really sad it was about um just want to be happy i know right don't we all <laughs> it was about like how society kind of like i don't know this is my interpretation of it like emotionally abuses men into like and boys into like suppressing their like emotions and like they don't really learn how to like love themselves and like how to love other people and like, I don't know it was just really depressing it was just really sad you know because like it's like one of those again it's one of those things that is just so ingrained in society that like how are we gonna change you know how is it gonna get better it's just sad and then I watched a movie on the plane what was it called the iron claw guys it was literally so depressing it was like literally like I was like I still can't cry oh I don't know what you mean yes exactly and I feel like that movie was such a good example of like I don't want to like say the meme words and the meme phrases, but you know, like toxic masculinity and like patriarch and things like, you know, like, you know, like the suppression of like, I feel like it's like emotional abuse. I feel like society like emotionally abuses men and boys, you know, like, I don't know. Anyway. And I feel like that, I feel like that movie was so, such a good way of showing it. They showed it in so many different ways. And then, like, in the end, like, I don't want to give away the ending, but, like, I feel like the ending was, like, such a good, like, wrap-up of, like, all the things that they, like, were highlighting in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, I, I definitely, it, it was sad, but I definitely recommend that movie. Um, anyways, I'm really into that stuff, but it's really, it's, it's really, like, also, like, another thing about it, too, that's, like, really sad to me is that, like, um, men and, like, boys a lot of times who, like, try to, like, they're like feel this like like loneliness you know what i mean and it's like they don't know what to do with it and it's like i feel like there's so much bad advice on the internet i don't know like i don't know i don't know if i should get into that stuff i feel like there's just so much bad advice but like what's the good advice that's why I, that's what i want to learn that's why i was reading this book this book was like it was really interesting but like i'm not at the end yet so I, I feel like I sympathize a lot to uh, empathize a lot with boys because sorry I, I'll read I'll read you guys to say in a second because like I uh I know it's gonna sound this is probably gonna sound so stupid but like when I was a kid I uh from a very 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 young age like I probably I probably was a lot of what's called internalized misogyny but I really wanted to be like a boy so I like really like idolized like male figures and like I try you know then do not don't cry this that you know like the, the masculine rules you know like I followed them very very strictly when I was you know growing up and stuff and like you know it took me a long time to like be able to like be emotional and stuff I don't know but I'm a, I'm a woman so it's a bit different I get it we were told it had to be strong it's not healthy I know right it really it really upsets me that stuff really gets to me because especially because i worked with kids and like kids are just so <sighs> it's sad it's sad when like kids are so like pure and like loving and then like they get shamed for that you know like being affectionate toward like their brother or something like that like come on like that's so messed up can you please what you said about my comment my wi-fi went out oh let's see let me see sorry if i missed it let's see let me scroll up to work done smoothly we need 16 employees four managers at the height of COVID, we had eight employees oh gosh yes oh sorry i didn't mean to punch the mic that was an accident hold on let me mute sorry i had to fix my mic i punched it by accident that's exactly what i mean like COVID was such a terrible time uh for a lot of jobs and i feel like they just never got back the I don't know if that makes sense like the respect for their employees you know what i mean they, they treat them like disposable like they like they didn't cope during covid times you know table slammed i'm sorry i didn't mean to punch you guys <laughs> uh, i'm gonna buy chocolate cereal and honey cereal and then let me mute uh, actually you know what i'm gonna purchase these things and then i'm going to here let me buy pizza i'm gonna do a be right back because my eyeballs need a little break Oh, let's buy one chicken. I'm running out of room. Why am I writing so big? One fry. 
I worked at a hotel one for 30, so I have to eat during COVID. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I have a brush drawer now? What does that mean? A butt hotel. Butt vid. <laughs> butt vid. <sighs> butt vid. I honestly don't even remember writing most of these things down. I'm so confused. I, I got real I got too into what I was talking about and I don't even know if I made sense. See that's the thing, is that like sometimes it's like when you learn about things <laughs> but there's no solution to it, it makes you more depressed. <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has that problem. I don't know. I'm not, uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, bruise. Oh, no. Stop picking on me. Yeah, what the heck, butt spot? What the? Pizza. I can't read my own thing here. I'm writing. What the? Oh, that's chicken. Oh, my gosh. I, I hate my, my own handwriting. There we go. Alright, I'm going to do a little tiny three minute be right back to give my eyeballs a break. Because I know that if I, I, I'm hitting the two hour mark and usually if I play this game for over two hours my eyeballs start to burn if I don't take a break. <laughs> You're right, I keep slickering. Oh yeah, because, I, sorry, I'm wearing my glasses today, that's why. And my camera gets blocked um, by my cam- My eye- wait, how do I say this? The camera can't see my eye at certain angles, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a hard time talking today. It's probably my glasses, I think. I'm trying to make it- I'm trying to see what you're talking about. I'm trying to make it happen, but I can't- I can't see. I think when I look away, it probably happens when I look away. So if it's on the right... I think that would be my right. That would make sense. I really should wear contacts when I stream. I'm gonna get back on that. Guys, when I get back on a schedule, then I'll know what days to wear contact lenses. <laughs> oh, my left. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Maybe I'm not the brightest, but guys, watch out. I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna happen. I've been saying this for like over a year. It's gonna happen, guys. I'm gonna have a schedule again. I wish I could do the Be Right Backs where you guys can watch the customers check out, but I can't do that because I need to check out the customers. I like that with the little CCTV thing. <laughs> I love that. Okay, anyways. I guess you guys could just watch these guys stand here and do nothing. It's COVID also affected our sales too. We went from 800 pizzas on a Friday, barely 500 on a Friday. And since COVID, we've been through over 400, 500 employees. Oh my gosh. Two of us legacy employees meaning we've been there since before the wages increased and we make 25 cent more than none legacy workers wow i want pizza i know right <laughs> i want pizza <laughs> all right i'm gonna be right back guys i'm just gonna do a little quick three minute brb to rest my eyes and i'll run the ads to stop pre-roll ads okay be right back
backpacks were waiting. I know, isn't Frosty weirdly uh, accurate? Frosty's like really smart. I don't know how Frosty knows these things, <laughs> but they do. That was a hard break. I really just wanted to get back to the game. <laughs> I'm like, just wait three minutes. Don't look at the computer. Rest your eyeballs. <laughs> it is, isn't it? How does it know these things? The first time I raided someone who had Frosty Bot, um, it like even knew that like I did giveaways on Sundays. I'm like, how the heck did Frosty know that? I haven't even had that written anywhere on my profile or anything. It's just something I did. What the heck? We need more toilet paper. Oh, we do. Whoopsie. Run! Where's the other toilet? I know we had another one, didn't we? Anyways. I'll figure it out later. Okay. I think after a couple more days, we will be able to hire another cashier. Yes, someone! Frosty is just like a really tiny person that like lives in like Twitch chat and like just does summaries of everything. <laughs> uh, think it deep dives your past live streams for content when you raid. Cause I mentioned one thing in passing and I mean only once and it said it. I know, right? Isn't it so weird? I might go make some SOS. What's SOS? What a smart bot. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe I don't need to know, I don't know. Oh, it's a food. that later. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sesser ses salad? <laughs> I can't. I can't, guys. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying my best.
I love so much money. It's freaking me out. Hi, Xbite. How are you? Oh, I, pun I keep punching things. I gotta like slightly reposition everything on my desk because I think it's all everything's off by like a half an inch and I keep punching everything. <laughs> Polaroids? No, not again! No. <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh wow, I gave him too much change. Whoopsie, haha. Polaroids. Guys, I can't read, okay? Sorry. Glad you're okay. I'm the one good. Thanks for asking. We're level 36. I have too much ice cream. I just like to pretend ice cream is a hit because I love ice cream. Okay, why all of a sudden do people like that potato? Oh, we got more. Okay, here, let me grab it. Oh, only one. Oh, no. Quick. No one's going to my line. Maybe tomorrow we'll make... Here, I'm going to keep this here to remind me to make two shelves of it. I'm going to move that sugar somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here. Dang, we have so many customers for 9 o'clock. That was me about my boss as he doesn't understand thing. Millennial Gen Z stuff. He thinks we're insane for even liking the types of games. Or into anime Warhammer. Yeah, they really don't understand. That's true. A lot of them are like that. Leave chicken out for at least 24 hours for extra flavor. <laughs> I don't actually do this. In this, uh, in my grocery store, we leave the chicken out all the hours for all the flavor. Yeah. Well, you know what? They they escape in other ways. You know what? Also, I was th I think about a lot is how um, Gen Z. They're like really not into like smoking and like drinking as much and stuff as other generations, but like, uh, how do I say this? Um, but like, they were like really depressed, but like, I think it's because like other generations were just more into like chemical dependencies, you know? Does that make sense? Like, especially like boomers and older generations, like they used to like pop pills like crazy and stuff. And smoking back to back to back cigarettes. It's all about the vapes. Yeah, some of them vape, but like most of the ones that I, most pe most Gen Z people I talk to, they think it's weird and like gross. I smoke so much weed. <laughs> yeah, that's like the only thing that like some some of them like. Well, at least the, I don't talk to very many youngies, but <laughs> that's the only thing that they are into. I think they're like more weary of like uh, you know like effects that you get from like things later down the line I guess I don't know I don't know what the reasoning is they just like, they're just like really disgusted by a lot of things like I don't know at least the, at least the youngies that I've talked to they're like really grossed out by like smoking and like drinking when you've seen your story no theories no what wonder what happened in the past future When, once you see a story, no theories. Oh, I love making theories about stuff. I think it's fun. I think that's like half the fun. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's see how close we are. Oh, wait, first we have to fix the shampoo. I'm not saying that they should all start like smoking like five packs of cigarettes. 
because obviously that's not a good solution. <laughs> but I feel like if uh, if society is gonna push young geese, young people, to not be dependent on chemicals, I think they need a solution for uh, something else that will help them deal with uh, depression and anxiety. Because that's how the old people did it. So... What was I doing? Oh yeah, we're at 827. Ah, dang, we only got like 20 yesterday. It stinks. Alright. Just waste so much money, let's just pay our bills now. Might as well. Just have way too much money. He thinks it's the stupidest thing in the world. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Boomers are really into sports too. They like get so angry about it too. My boss was showing me his his like shelf of like bobbleheads and like memorabilia from like his favorite sports team, and I was like, in my head, I was just like joking to myself, I'm like I should show him my anime figurines. I don't have anime figurines, but like you know what I mean, like. <laughs> uh... We also started that stuff when we were younger. He isn't even a boober. <laughs> Mom's generation, maybe Gen X. And you spice cigarettes out of a machine for a dollar. Mm hmm. That's also another thing is that they make it a lot harder too for younger people to buy, which is a good thing. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But, uh. Yeah, it's harder to make the leap from like, you know, maybe I should try a cigarette. You know what I mean? It's harder to. Tr tr for that. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, anyways. I'm not saying they should be smoking, guys. We need some VTuber bobbleheads. Oh my gosh. Uh, 1966. I think that is Boomer. I think that's like the tail end of Boomer, I think. Is it? Boomers are like... Boomers are like a lot of... A lot of decades. Like, my grandparents are Boomers and my parents are Boomers. It's arm drinking water. It like spans across a lot of decades. Alright, let's see. Oh, I feel like my parents are a little bit more like uh, Gen X y. I don't have a desire to smoke or drink. Yeah, most. That's what, that's what I hear from most young people. You guys are just. Uh... Oh my gosh! I was gonna say something inappropriate. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Because I, I use this phrase all the time in real life, and I really shouldn't. Because I used to hear it all the time on TikTok. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna say it. I think, oh, it's inappropriate. But it's like, damn it, I don't, I cursed. <laughs> I started drinking at 12. My first hard drink was nine. Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing is like, uh, it was more normal to like try things when you were younger back then. By 12, I was drinking a bunch. Yeah, I hear that a lot from older people too. And like when I was young too, like, uh, yeah, people were definitely, people definitely were drinking really young too, actually, now that I think about it. I'm trying to think about smoking. I don't think, you know what, when I was a kid, the high school, um, we would go to the high school for like a summer program. They had like a balcony and the counselors there who were high schoolers told us that that was where the kids would go to smoke, like their smoke break. Like they had a section, they had like a, when I was a kid, they had like a, at the high school had like a, a smoking area. Isn't that crazy? Also people used to smoke indoors and stuff too when I was a kid. Nice, were awesome, they were kind of awesome. It was kind of a vibe. <laughs> it was kind of a vibe, I can't lie. <laughs> I think the boomer gen ended in 1965. Oh, okay, so like they just got the cutoff. Sorry, I'm like not concentrating on the game at all. Ugh, where are we? We're in the void. We had a smoking corner across the street from my high school. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they had it like right, they had a door right from the cafeteria to the smoking area. Oh yeah, I remember what I was trying to do. I want to do this, hold on. Let me see if I could grab these, I can. Okay. 
Yeah, all of a sudden these potatoes are popping, so let me uh, put them down. Okay, where's the other sugars? Oh, they're over there. Here, let me put this next to- No, wait, that's where the black coffee goes. Oh, flip, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Sugar. Maybe I'll get another shelf over here. Or maybe I'll just put it where the beer is for now, because there's an extra shelf over there. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Then in the 2000s, when the cops got put in schools, they cracked down on this stuff. Yeah, definitely, that's when they started to crack it down. I could tell, too. What else does my boss think is crazy? My boss thinks- oh my gosh, my boss thinks so many things are crazy. I guess he's not gonna be my boss anymore, because I- I gotta- Now that I have- Oh, Phineas took my blanket! Dang it, my cat took my blanket. Okay, I will, I'll let him have it. <laughs> fine, you can have it. It's fine. Uh, man. He's like the definition of boomer. He's like a young boomer, too. He's too boomer for a boomer. <laughs> Let's see. You guys work with boomers where all they do is complain. You guys notice that? They like never have anything good to say, like ever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean pieces of negative. Yeah. Yeah, don't they just complain about everything? It's like sometimes too when I get when I would uh, go on business trips with my boss, I'd be like, oh thank god we're getting out of the office. And then we go out, and then there would be the TV on. I'm like, oh no. And then, like, everything that happens on this, even though we can't hear it, like, everything that pops up on the TV, he's, like, complaining about it. <gasps> even, like, everything triggers him. Like, even, like, people with, like, accents, like, trigger him. Like, everything triggers him. He's like, he's like, why, do, why don't they have native English speakers working? I'm like, because it's America. What? It's, it's 2024. Everyone's moving everywhere. Like, everyone's been doing that since America got started. Like, what do you- what? Huh? And he was literally just telling me about how his great-grandpa came from Poland. I think- I'm like, I'm pretty sure your great-grandpa had an accent. I'm pretty sure you didn't have perfect English. New perfect English. Anyway, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. That man triggered me so much. I never really talked too much back to him. I'm always like, <sighs> Like you said, no age stuff in chat, but yeah, I'm in my early 20s and I'm overweight by 100 pounds. Can't even run a mile without being out of breath. Oh, sorry, I totally missed uh, me not being able to run. Oh, from your boss. That's another thing. I don't like, I, that bugs me so much when people get on people for like their weight or like the, how much physical activity they could do. That bugs me so much. I, I, I don't know. Like, like, can you shut up? Can you like mind your business? Can you not like ugh. that's that's one thing that really gets me about my boss too is he's like that too and like i'm like uh i get out of breath really easily i have like some medical things going on and like it bothers me so much when people like bug me about it you know what i mean like i don't know anyway okay let's see milk Back to the video game. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are freaking me, freaking me into the trigger zone here. <laughs> Not the boomers. Out of everything we talked about today, it was the boomers. It was the boomers that got me. Who, who would have known? Not me. All right, green cheese. Uh, no. Also, another thing that a lot of boomers do, especially guys that I don't understand and they just never stop doing this is like they do that like almost like negging thing where they like tease people like really especially like women like just really hard and like they just like even if they don't get positive feedback from it they just like keep going and I don't know why and it's like really annoying one small egg and one big egg and then I want some mozzarella. I'm like, they just get, they, they just like don't get a hint. Like the other day I was in a store and I yawned and this like old guy came up to me and he was just like going on and on about how he caught me yawning and how it was, you know what I mean? He thought it, he thought we were having a grand time and it was just like so uncomfortable. Man. Ooh. 
they're unhappy with everything. They really are. I always want, I always want to say, like, can you, like, try to go with they, like, just saying positive things? I don't know. Does that mean? That would be mean to say, right? <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me see. New Yu-Gi-Oh! Nendoroids? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I've never bought one before, and I've been avoiding it, and I haven't done it yet. Don't tell me, because I'm going to want to buy them. Don't do that to me. I'm really trying hard not to buy any figurines. Please don't tell me. <laughs> no! I'm going to look. I'm going to look. He also finds it weird I'm not very outgoing or at the home because I hate parties. He's surprised. But that's another thing, too, that they're always so they're always so judgmental about that. Right. I know exactly what you mean. They're so judgmental about that. Like, OK, and that affects you how? Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> don't let me buy figurines, guys. Remember when I had a shelf and I was like, I'm gonna fill this shelf with with uh, Sims games, and I just filled it with VTuber stuff and Sims games. That was crazy. Thank God I got rid of that shelf because that was that was crazy times. And uh, that I, uh, why do I spend money? I don't know. Why was I spending money like that? I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm stuck with like a thousand VTuber cards, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Milk. Yeah, I'm, I definitely would go crazy if I had the money and the space. Oh my gosh. Don't let me buy figurines, guys. Do not let me start. That's the thing. I know that's I know myself. I know if I like buy one thing that you can collect, I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna get a bunch of them. That's why I try really, really hard not to buy figurines. Cause I know I couldn't be like, they need a buddy. <laughs> I need a shelf now. Let's see, we need spaghetti, elbow pasta. We need the, the chops. We need some steak probably. We're probably running low on steak. I'm gonna get a shampoo. Oh, here, Phineas. Okay. I do have one. I do have one Iron Mouse figurine. But that's it, okay, guys? That's it. I used to have another one. I used to have a Tomoko one, but she fell apart. Not just a care prefer. I'm not gay. To him, I am. Oh, come on. I hate Top. They're so, they're so annoying. <laughs> Old people, some old people are so annoying. Not all old people, okay? Not all old people. A lot of you guys are chill, okay? Some, some of you guys. That's the thing. I think that the, the, they, it's the teasing thing that they do. You know what I mean? They think it's like, oh, ha, ha. Random homophobic joke. Like, it's that's not funny. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hit my mic again. Sorry, I, I just got back from my trip and everything's like slightly off i'm not used to my desk right now we need potatoes we need candy we need pepper did we get more customers did people buy more things yesterday i feel like usually we're not this low on stuff let's buy salt I hate when I say assault. It sounds like I'm saying trying to assault somebody. Like, let's buy assault. Like, what do I mean? uh, not somebody. Like, hire someone to assault. So, you know what I mean? Like a hitman. Like that's what that's what I, that's what comes to mind when I say that. <laughs> buy assault. I'm gonna purchase assault. Pow 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 pow. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all the flour and beer. think again that it's because older generations something that we're exposed to really young yeah that's true that is true the young young people have a really different view of like social things like that like uh parties and you know relationships and things like that uh i don't really understand it but it's different you know um do i have that cheapy cereal let me see cheapy cereal oh we need more of that milk again Oof. They went nuts yesterday, the customers. Dang. They're out of control. Mm. 
Price went down. Was the one I think it was the red one we already had so these two I need what the heck did I write there S small beer oh. <laughs> I can't my handwriting's horrendous I'll buy an extra one of those okay we'll just keep it in the corner oh gosh okay Hello, old morals and I mean some pre-silent generation it makes fun of me for it one of my co-workers who tried to get me explain it wouldn't very rare I don't know I I don't think they need to stop being judgmental also uh, to be honest young people tend to not statistically uh, do that kind of thing uh, early as early as older people did you know what i mean like my my generation or generations before me um i've definitely seen statistics on that somewhere i don't remember where they just see it differently i think i think you guys are just more chill <laughs> But I'm glad you guys don't have that pressure because, like, uh, I mean, like, maybe older people are trying to give you that pressure, but that you don't put it on yourself, you know what I mean? I don't know. I, ho I hope you guys don't because that's something that I thought about when I was younger, too, is, like, uh, you know, I don't want to be weird and not, you know, anyway, I don't know if I should have what I should say about this. I hope you guys don't understand what I'm trying to say. Don't feel pressured because, uh, you know. Take your time. Take your time. Nothing wrong with that. Must not believe anything. He sees himself. Oh. I know a boomer that is into like weird politics, like not and like. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna talk about it. You know, what? I'm not gonna go down that road. But anyway, basically, they don't trust any source that you have, but then when you ask for a source, they won't give it to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel pressure to not feel pressure. <laughs> Take your time! Take your time! Take as much time as you need! Source, I made it up exactly is that that's what I feel like I'm like okay interesting five witnesses until he sees it unless it's like the news headline he'll say it might not be true oh my gosh I know what you mean all right, I don't know why I only have one toilet paper. That's really weird. I should have another one somewhere. I'll put one over here, maybe. Wonder why we've been running out of toilet paper. another toilet paper and we need the dark roast coffee I saw that oops doesn't understand why I love anime animation over live action yeah that's another thing I really can't convince my parents to watch anything that's like a cartoon like animated I mean it's like really frustrating I feel like they're missing out on a lot of fun things Oh well. 
my mom too she like she like adores sailor moon but she never watched it in her life like she only knows sailor moon like passively through like other media <laughs> like like she used to play this like game on her phone that was like sailor moon themed she like thinks she's so cute and she has like little like Sailor Moon keychains and stuff, but like she she will never watch Sailor Moon ever. I'm like, why don't you just give it a try? Hmm. Alright, we don't need the, the, the why did I say underwear? Toilet paper! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Toilet paper. There's no underwear in my store. Um we just need the dark roast. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, and we need... What's this? Okay, that... Oh, and we need chicken. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a lot of information. Ooh. And maybe green tea. I'm not gonna remember that. I should've wrote that down. Dark roast, green tea, chicken, chicken. Sorry, no running. All right, I'm not allowed to run. Last time I ran, I made myself motion sick. <laughs> Last time I was trying to speed run this game, not allowed. You see, look, that's the curse of the, the boomers, is that once you can't help but complain about them, but then you become a boomer yourself because then you start complaining. Ah! Free anime animation. You get a lot more things going on screen at the same time, unlike live action. Yeah, it's totally different and you could accomplish so much uh, different things, you know? It's definitely good for different things. If you like a character moving super fast, it's easier to do an animation of live action. That's true. He doesn't think voice actors aren't real actors. Oh, interesting. <sighs> All right, I think we're good to open. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're open. Okay, hopefully we get a lot of customers at our register today, so we get closer to hiring another cashier. That's my goal, that's my goal. Here, let me move up. Look how much money we spent. We had to restock a lot of things today. Voice acting seems hard. still hummus in there? Yeah, I think so. Alright, come on guys, over here. Me, one pizza's, one gluten-free pizza's on sale. <laughs> I stock up. It's good for a day where you don't want to cook. Have some pizza. It's a vibe. And then I just put a bunch of hot sauce on it. When I try to tell him, like, hey, this is the direction society's kind of going, he immediately says, no, it's not. As if we're doomed. <laughs> uh, I can't. They just are afraid of change, you know? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Guys, I'm just joking. It's... I don't... I don't really think that... Some of them are, but not all of them are. It's always so slow in the morning and then it gets crazy. Over here, anybody, come on. Oh, Vinny's is sitting next to me, so cute. Benny, is you happy to be home? I'm happy to be home. I'm so happy to be home. Mwah. I'm back. We're back. 
Phineas was on a vacation too. He was at my parents' house. <laughs> I wasn't on a vacation. I shouldn't say vacation or trip. That is what I should say. I'm so excited for the weekend. I just want it to be the weekend. <laughs> I just don't want to work. Not that I don't, I don't dislike my job. I just need a break, you know? I just need a break. I just want to be able to sleep as long as I want. I want a day where I could just sleep as long as I want. I'm excited. It's going to be a vibe. Are we having a great Friday? Oh my gosh, it is Friday now. It's Friday for me now. I think it's going great so far. I think you're, I think you're onto something. Don't get me started on my boss's boss. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm knowing a lot less about him than my boss. I guess it's just like my boss in the viewing of society, but people skills are a lot worse. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. It's like boss squared, the boss's boss. I hope Phineas figures out where he wants to nap. <laughs> it's getting real annoying letting him in and out of the room. If I could try one thing from this video game, it would be Zap. I'm so curious what Zap tastes like. Sounds like it would be chemically, but like in a good way. Like bubbly and chemically. Bobbleheads. Sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking about this now. I'm going back to this, but I feel like that would be kind of scary. I feel like that'd be kind of terrifying. I feel like that might not be a vibe. We keep it down. Three employees. No one's answering the phone. Come in and we could ask him, hey, can you come in just for an hour so we could at least have a little bit of help? And he would be like, don't figure it out. Oh, man. It's over there that's missing. One of the sushis. Is it the big one? Do we have none? Oh wow, we're completely out of sushi. Okay, hold on. Let me run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I know it's against the rules, but I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, I'm running. Done. Made it back. Thomas, I knew we were gonna run out. I knew that was gonna happen. Ah. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm running. Thomas. Okay. I'm sorry. Here. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. I need you guys to come here, please. I guess it's the uh, busiest of day, Sunday or Saturday, and I bet he clocks for his salary hours and then goes on the couch, hits the power button, TV remote. Oh, man. I hope, I hope that's not true. I hope not. 73. I 
should get that last upgrade. I put hummus. I put hummus. I don't know. I like the store the way it is. Also, we don't we don't even have a shelf over there. Maybe I'll just buy one, but like I don't have anything to put on it. Oh, thank you for the follow. I don't know how it could work that hard. <laughs> I did not run TV wrong. <laughs> uh. Is that everybody? Maybe I will buy a shelf. Just to even it out. <laughs> I don't have anything to put on it though yet. Mm, what's this? Ice cream? The coffee's been going a lot. A lot of coffee's been selling. Okay, we're finished. Let's see, we got oh, we got forty-eight customers today. Aw, here, hold on. Let me grab my blanket. I'm always like either really hot or really cold. I'm never like in the middle. So these days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesdays for previous week paperwork. Make sure the numbers are right. And Wednesdays for weekly meetings. Ah. Chocolate pot elbow pasta. Yeah, the shelf. I was like, I, I feel like I, I'm forgetting something. I have nothing to put on it. I just feel like it's like missing. Woohoo. Okay, let's help out. Okay, I had to, uh, oh. <laughs> I forgot already. What I was going back for. Actually, let me just let's just start out by writing down what uh, things that are missing. All right, chicken, French fries. Okay. Dark roast. I'm gonna buy three of those. Maybe we'll buy four. <laughs> Vodka. Keg. Maybe we'll buy more. Actually, I'm gonna do doubles later. Let's just go with what's empty right now. All right, potatoes. Susu sugar. And pink sugar. Okay. The white rice. And... I always forget about this shelf. All all of the sauces. May just move extra equipment to storage, no big deal, right? No, he had a problem with that. Really minor than a month later after the month that payment. Am I reading this wrong? I'm sorry. I just realized that I think I skipped something. The month of, uh, that the payment ended up moving everything to a new storage. Might not like this one because a single light is missing from the storage building. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. not fixed by the next time we're probably moving again oh my gosh Ooh. 
Oops. Potatoes. Sugar. Okay. Rice. All the sauces. Okay, so ketchup. Mayonnaise. And hot sauce. Very my way or the highway, but to the extreme, yeah, it sounds like it. Dang. What time is it for me? I probably should. I don't want to, but I probably should get off after this day. Okay, after this, after this day, I'll get off the stream. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably. I probably should. I gotta work tomorrow. But we did take a five hour nap and I am off by like three hours, but we'll see. Gotta make this thing ice cream. for that ice cream. Oh, none of them have it. Okay, cool. Nope, wrong one. Oop, my bad. No money. No doubt about it. He attracts gold figures. And travel vlog gold diggers because he pushed them past their tolerance. Oh. Oh, there's no room. Oh, he has money. I don't know why I read that. I read that opposite. In my head, I read it right, but in out loud, I read it wrong. <laughs> I think. Food. I put the chicken there. No, that's correct. Chicken does go there. Go ahead. From my knowledge, oh, gold there is usually a very high tolerance of dealing random bullshit. Yeah, I guess so, if that's their goal. And then, uh, that's just what they're looking for, I guess, in a relationship, is, uh, financial. It's just some priority of some people, I guess. So they overlook other things, I guess? Is that what you mean? No. I'm so excited for the dang weekend, guys. You know how excited I am to be home and chilling. Actually, that's only Saturday because sometimes I have to hang up with my family. But. It's fine. Family's vibe. It's fine. It'll be vibe. It'll be vibe. <laughs> it's fine. I'll give my little cousins their little presents I got them. It'll be fun. Then I'll be chilling again. I 
I just want to stay home for like a month. All right, let's get one chocolate. Spaghetti. Elba pasta. Um, let's get brown sugar. And yellow sugar. And then, oh, we need red pasta. Not elbow pasta, we need red pasta. My bad, my man. Let's get one blue cleaner. I know even less about the owner from what I heard. He. In it, but he's a, a cheapskate. Hmm. Bread. I don't know if we should get more crab. Probably not. Bread. Let's get parm. Oh, apple juice. All right, here we go. Next order. I'll get two chocolates. I'll get three chocolates. What's the sugar? Cleaner. I get one of these two. Apple juice. Okay. I think that's bread. I was really hoping to get the cashier tonight, but the restocking has been kind of crazy. And the customers, there's been less customers, but I, th I think it's been less customers, but they've been buying more products at once, like per, per customer. Like things seem to go a lot faster than they used to. against the wall. <laughs> okay, maybe I bought too much chocolate, but it was on sale, so it's fine. soda we'll get blue water fired for doing it's legal to say no and get fired for doing a job that your job description doesn't have I'm not sure my boss's boss did that to my boss today finished moving equipment and he was asked to move stuff from his boss's house oh I said we told him no would you want to lose your job, right? Yeah. That's so strange. I don't know if that's illegal. Oh, I guess it would be illegal for firing someone for saying no to do that. But if they say yes, it could be considered like a favor, I guess? Oh, I forgot to buy Parmesan before. I don't know. That's really interesting. That's a good question. Soap. 
shampoo. I'm gonna buy a tiny sushi. Okay. I gotta buy more of that box potato. I'm gonna buy one of each rice. Okay. Maybe in one blue flour and one of each chip. Chips really don't go as fast as I thought they would. We expected them to go faster. Okay. Is this again? Right, okay. Hey, let me put this over here so I can see the label. Okay. Which worker being on the clock? Yeah, that's really interesting. I'm not sure. That's a good question. A customer at my job. My boss hates it when I flip it midship from my brain. <laughs> uh. Shampoo. Oh, look, it's tiny sushi. Oh, I wanted mashed potatoes. Rice. Flour and chips. And that should be good. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna add like someone who will help with the putting things on the shelf, the storage shelves. Probably, I feel like they wouldn't because then everything would be automated, right? Wait, I don't know. I don't know. Drink water. Thank you. I am drinking water. I like 99% of the time I drink water. Sometimes I switch it up and I drink seltzer. Sometimes I drink coffee, which I don't really count that as a drink. I don't drink that when I'm thirsty, you know? <laughs> it's just coffee, you know? You get tired, you gotta drink it, or tea. Sometimes I drink alcoholic beverages, but not very often. It's the tiny sushi, okay. I mean, just, I drink salt water when I get thirsty. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Constantly ask, why are you doing this? You work here. My response is, I'm also a customer response. No, you're not. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. What the heck? Hmm. Uh, I forgot where this goes for a sec. I remember, I remember. Okay, as soon as we get these boxes in, we will start the day. Actually, let's just start. Let the customers look around. It's 1 a.m. here. I'm drinking cafe. What is it? Yeah, me too. I'm not, I'm not drinking. I'm just drinking water, but it's one, about 1 a.m. for me, too. So many nightmare stories from that place. Oh, no. A lot from GM, a lot from the system manager. I hate my guts. I'm sorry to hear that. Alrighty. Alright, guys, let's see. What, what are we at? We are at 
we are at 842. Okay, let's see how much we get today. Um, let me go back to the other screen. Actually, let's pay bills, whatever. Okay, so we're ready to order anything if we need it. Alright, let's look friendly. Number 36, level 36. I wonder what the next food is going to be. I should have looked at the list. She will constantly leave me running the entire store by myself while she does nothing but clean. Oh no! Well, cleaning the store? I guess that's... At least, at least they're helping. The store, I guess. Um, trying to squint and see all the items we have on the shelves. Okay. Some big spaghetti. Yeah, see, I feel like people buy more stuff. I don't know. Which is probably not good for the other cashiers, because they seem to get overwhelmed really quickly. She was just two hours late. She will some two hours late on a good day. Bad day, she won't even show. And if she did, it was sometimes five hours. Like, oh gosh, that's really late. I should stay here if I should run around and try to help restock. Oh man, I thought that guy was coming to our our, our lane. Dang it! She wants to show up on the time ish. Uh, if she was opening, which is rare because my GM only trusts himself to open. Huh. Guys, I'm, I'm open. Guys. I must, like, look really unfriendly. Like, real life. I give off bad vibes as a cashier. Okay. Over here! Yes! Oil and beer. Good, we got a lot at once. Oh, they really like that first one over there. When I was over there, they didn't. I don't know, maybe it just seems like there's a lot more customers going to there because they take really long time to uh, check out the customers and the line gets long. Maybe just it just seems like there's a lot of people there. Mod, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have I have one too, definitely. Especially when I'm a, uh, I just get really nervous in a lot of social situations, and uh, and people think I'm angry. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just nervous. <laughs> over here. No, over here. Toilet paper? Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get these. on the fact I look twice as old as I am. Not fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I know I definitely give bad vibes <laughs> when I'm in public. Try to doesn't know what to do in social situations, so she just punches little kids. <laughs> I probably, probably, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if people think that about me. I think I look really angry. Over here. Two pepper, please. Is that everybody? How did we do? Let's see. I know we ran out of toilet paper. I gotta get better with the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, we ran out of the kegs too. I have them here. Here, I could do that actually. Sorry. I don't know why they were so popular today. Alright, maybe I'll play one more day. <laughs> how many how many clusters do we check out? Yeah, we got about twenty. Eight sixty two. Okay. So Just two, like two more days, I think we'll be able to hire another cashier. Okay, the next license is gonna be another bleach, another cleaner, dishwasher, tablet, another cleaner. It's all cleaning supplies. Oh look, but all all three of these come out. Are unlocked at 42. Let's see. Ham and cheese, ground beef, ham. This is all meat, I think. Oh, lasagna, chicken legs. What about this? Medium roast coffee, soda. Oh, these are all drinks. Oh, we might need another fridge. Okay, we'll probably need another fridge if we get this. This won't probably need another fridge too, actually. I'm excited. I wish we were. I wish we got farther today. Okay, one more day. One more day. He he he. I can't stop. It just takes so long. Uh, one of the flowers to restock in the morning now. All right, we definitely need those kegs. And I definitely need a lot of toilet paper. fell. My bad. Okay, 
this week put on the show. Toilet paper. Definitely need more toilet paper. This is sushi. More slots for toilet paper, I mean. Do we have any extra slots? No, we don't. I think I could fit a shelf over here. Or do you think I should make this bigger? Or do we have something unnecessary that we could get rid of? I don't think so. I don't think anything's unnecessary. Hmm. Maybe I'll move this. Oh, I hate it when it doesn't let me put it down. Never mind. Maybe we could get rid of one of the potatoes. Put toilet paper there instead. Hip breaker. <laughs> I kind of see where my boss is coming from on this, but he'll not trust anyone online. Tell him about pirate software who has his name on several Blizzard games. He's probably on a government site. And three DEF CON badges. Attorney for hackers. And has his own gaming studio with three games out. And runs a ferret rescue. I follow the ferret rescue. Sometimes I put it on. <laughs> um, when I'm uh, working or something. He's like, how do you know it's true? You said he's a hack? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alrighty. Oh look, that's what happened. We have three bleach. Ah, I see what happened. Okay. My bad. I meant to write TP for toilet paper and I wrote PT. Alright, um, Bleach, elbow pasta, spaghetti. Doesn't understand why I give him any content creators that you watch for free. Yeah, I get I get why that would be confusing. Potatoes, because people are so used to like passive um. Payments, you know, like uh, just from watching ads and stuff, you know? Red flower. Like, that's how TV was. Oh, actually, some TVs you have to pay, some TV channels you have to pay for. Um, hot sauce, one hot sauce. But, like, YouTube's like that. Tuna fish. Okay. And TV was like that, and radio was like that. So, I could see why it would be confusing. Soap. Bleach. Elbow pasta. Oh, one of these, two of those. Potatoes. Hot sauce. And tuna. Oh, my bad. The hot sauce didn't make it either. I actually, I, I didn't understand Twitch when I first started watching it. Like, I understood that, like, you were helping them when you, like, uh, you, like, sub subscribe. But, like, I didn't understand how little the ads help them, help people, you know what I mean? Like, uh, viewers. I just thought watching passively was uh, good enough. I didn't know the ads were, like, worthless, basically. <laughs> also, back when I first started watching Twitch, there was this feature where you could, um, it, you could watch extra ads, and then it would give you bits, and then I would give the bits to the streamers, but 
I don't I don't think I really gave anyone a ton of, I mean it, to me when I gave someone 100 bits I felt like I gave them a lot because like I worked really hard for the 100 bits watching all those ads <laughs> but really I was only giving them a dollar I guess right I've been on Twitch since 2016 yeah me too that's when I started watching it I knew about it for a long time but that's when I started watching I think I think it was 2016 I'm pretty sure it was I was confused. My first stream was 2017. Oh my gosh. I wonder what mine was. Mine lasted 0. 0.2 seconds and I panicked and I left and then I didn't stream for years. <laughs> I'm like, hello? And then I said one B when I got scared and I left. I exited the premises. EA Battlefront. <laughs> Mine was, um... I was just doing a test stream and I was trying to think of like the most low maintenance game that I had on my computer at the time and it was uh, Stardew... Well, I thought it was Stardew Valley. I'm not actually sure. I don't really actually know how to find out. <laughs> I don't know how to know about that, but anyway. It's like, hello? Um, let's do... Let's do one large sushi. Oh, let's do, um, the honey cereal. Okay. Let's do one of each bread. Oh, look, I remember when I said we don't need crab? We ran out of crab. Okay, we need light roast. Maybe I'll get one scallop just in case. Those don't really seem to sell, but just in case. We'll get a butter. We need... Is that the large egg? We don't have any more, right? Let's get one medium egg. And then we'll get mozzarella. No, that's not mozzarella. That's the orange cheese. All right, I ran out of room on my list. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do one orange juice and one red soda. Okay. I have a bunch of friends that stream. I will guess on some of them, but never on my own. My last, yeah, I get, I, I just get really scared, but uh, I really like it now. <laughs> my last stream was MLB Road to the Show 2024. This past Wednesday, it did uh, take like a four-year hiatus. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to try again. Huh? Oh my gosh, my handwriting's so bad, guys. One of each what? Bread. <laughs> I thought it said something with a P. My B looked like a P. and then orange juice and soda did hit the well crab affiliate and I said F you twitch for some reason I don't remember <laughs> I'm below it again oh no I 
can't imagine what it takes to get become a partner on Twitch. It seems so. It seems so hard. It seems like impossible. I see so many people try like on Twitter. Who I would think, where they're like, I'm gonna do a partner push, and it seems like they're gonna get it, and then sometimes they don't get it. It's just like, dang, it seems so hard. Even if they hit all the goals, like, sometimes they get rejected. Like, that's crazy. Average 75 viewers. Yeah, I don't know, it seems so hard. The most viewers I ever had at once was, like, 50. That was only once. That was crazy, I was so scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Scary times. Okay, let's see. That was like a big rarity though. It only lasted like five seconds because like most of it was a raid. <laughs> Sometimes I take- I turn off rates because I get too nervous. I think I might do that soon. I've been getting a little nervous lately when people raid. I might take a break from rates. <laughs> but then sometimes I feel bad if like some- like sometimes I sp uh, try to raid a specific person but then it says they don't allow rates and I'm like, oh. And I don't want someone to think that like, I don't know. I guess they wouldn't think anything of that, right? I don't think anything of it. But I used to get... I don't know. Maybe I gotta stop thinking about that. Doesn't make sense. Now that I now that I verbalized it, doesn't that, my thoughts don't make sense. Hmm. Most of I have was 42, and it was everyone who supported me at uh, the time for the final push. Oh, that's so sweet. Not gonna tell my friends to start reading. <laughs> no. I get so nervous. I don't know if you guys notice. I get... I don't know if it's, like, noticeable. I get so scared when people raid. I, like, never know what to say. I, like panic a bit. I panic a lot. Okay, I think we are- oh, no, we're not okay. Look. We need black tea. And olive oil. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one of each cake. And one pizza with the black box. Yeah, let's open. I think I could keep up with it in the beginning. Okay. I only follow six people on Twitch and you're one of them, oh my gosh. I follow- I always follow too many people, I always get excited and I follow too many people and then I can't keep up with everyone, I get overwhelmed and I have to do- Like once a year I have to do like a clean out of like, okay, I, I really haven't watched this person in a while. Let me unfollow and like I'll, I'll keep an eye. But... Because it gets over- Twitch is a- like on YouTube, it's like uh, you could subscribe to like I probably- I don't know how many people I'm subscribed to on my main YouTube that I used to watch. Um, to view stuff. I probably have like hundreds of channels I'm subscribed to, but it doesn't, it's not like overwhelming. But it gets overwhelming on Twitch when you follow a lot of people. And then I don't like that they, they try to do this thing where they prioritize, um, like people that you actually watch, which I like. But on mobile, it's always still prioritizes like people who just have more viewers, I think. Really don't like that. Because then you gravitate toward people who already have the viewership, you know? I don't know. Anyway. The group later kicked me for accidentally making someone uncomfortable because I was actually oversharing something. If you have an S to your voice, I'll say. I think I will say it. It makes someone uncomfortable. The next day I was kicked. Oh, for harassment. Oh, interesting. We just hit level 37. I really have to like a person's vibes. 
I always get like overexcited and I'm like, this is great, you know? I like, especially like, sometimes like at night I wake up at like 3 a.m. and I like browse and I'm like, this is a vibe. And then I follow someone, but then like, how often do I wake up at 3 a.m. to watch this person? <laughs> also, I follow a lot of people who don't speak English, but like, I like to watch their gameplay, but I don't know what they're saying. And sometimes I'm like, should I? I don't know, I guess it's okay to watch, right? <laughs> There's something wrong with that, right? <laughs> I don't know. Just like to see what's going on. I don't know. I wish I was more consistent though with uh I have like phases where I watch people. But uh, you know, I like uh there's some people who I'm really consistent with. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Butter. I'm hitting. I'm hitting the wall here, guys. I'm getting really tired. I don't know if you can film. <laughs> I wonder what license. I think I might go for the meat license. I think that's because our fridge is so empty over there. I think I might go for the meat license, and then we'll get another fridge like that and put it over there, and then we can get the the drink license after that. Yeah. Maybe honestly, by then, by level 42, we might have enough money just to get both of them. Since I was in the inner circle group and I was like, hey, what happened? Can we clear this up? It was a straight up kick ban with no word from beside the reason. Oh, wow. Tiny things that are hard to click. <laughs> I think for my, <laughs> I'm really into the idea of uh, updating my avatar with a new hairstyle and a new outfit. I can't stop thinking about it. Like I want bangs. I think I want bangs and like little buns. Little low buns and I want a new outfit. I want like a fall outfit with like with like a little like scarf. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> I think the group fell apart a few months later because someone I follow from the group stopped waving that flag. A few months later, oh. They could have been like, they could have just said something like, you know, that makes some people uncomfortable. Can you not do that instead of just like kicking you out? But. Over here. Like it when the restockers carry giant boxes and they clearly can't see. I think it's so funny. But I know, uh, over half the group didn't even know what happened. Oh wow. Oh look, I'm missing a light in that corner. <laughs> it's like, why is that corner so dark? Oh well. They'll be fine. Customers will be fine. Wow. 
That scared me. The sound effect scared me. Averages back to one viewer, aka me, but it is what it is. Background character raised it. Background character. Yeah, that's. Um, I took a lot of breaks and uh, I stopped doing my schedule and I lost a lot of viewers because of that. But it was uh, circumstances that I don't control, so try not to get upset about it. But maybe, I always say, maybe one day, you know, if you could be consistent. Then it'll go back to the way it was, you know? Maybe? I don't know. I hope. For me and you, I hope so. Although I do en I do enjoy the group that's always uh, here. It was just nice. It was nice seeing the growth back then, you know what I mean? Like the upward trajectory. Now things are like not, you know what I mean? Like I hit 700 followers and then I got like a couple more followers after that and then I took a week off because I was vis I was helping my family member who was sick, and I lost three viewers. So then I went back to under 700, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh flip!" <laughs> and then some 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 someone ended up following in between that time, so I'm back to 700. I think actually I'm probably at like yeah, I'm back to 700. So <laughs> I was like, "Oh flip!" I literally I made a nap. I did a whole thing too. I was like, "Guys, think for 700," and then all of a sudden I went under after that. I'm like, "Oh flip!" Whoops. <laughs> Went from 12 to 13. Well, and that group to absolutely zero. Yeah. Oh, Zombie, thank you for the follow. Thank you. But I know that was, uh, it was a uh, consistency, I think, that was really helping and having a schedule and people know when to, when there's a schedule, people know when to show up, you know? And so I'm like, I'm gonna stream it. 11 p.m. at night because I want to. Okay, oop, the day's over. Let's see if I could just help with anything real quick. The personal consistency is trash this year. <laughs> yeah, for the past two years, mine has been uh, very trash. got like two part-time jobs and then I had one of my jobs I had to travel for sometimes uh let's see here look I'm just restocking because I said after this day I was gonna uh head off the stream and I don't want to head off the stream <laughs> so now I'm helping with the restocking also I really enjoy restocking restock sometimes I feel like I say Stalk? I don't think I do. Maybe maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. Mine is so random. I'll stream for like three or four times a week and then I'm gone for six months. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm really, really random like that too. Also, I feel bad because I announced so many things last week. I'm like, we're gonna do this, 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 this. And then all of a sudden I just disappeared. I had to I had to go help my family member who was sick. I'm like, I'll flip. <laughs> but you guys, um, thank you guys to everyone who showed up to Fortnite Day. I was there in Discord. I just couldn't play because I was uh, out of state. But I was, I was watching and I was chatting a bit. That's another thing I would love to do is community, weekly community days again. Oh, what a vibe. That was the best. Looking forward to Saturday mornings and playing games with you guys. I miss that so much. But now, uh, 
I don't, I sometimes I leave, I like to leave my Saturday mornings open because sometimes I don't have time to stream during the week at all. So then I like to try to squeeze a stream on like Saturday morning, but I don't know, like uh, something that I would normally do during the week. Oh, that's what I was looking for, that flower. <gasps> I'm out of flower. Okay, never mind. What else? I wonder when we're going to get more stuff for the shelf. It seems like the next few things are going to all like things that go in the fridge, I think. What did I come back here for? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be restocking. Maybe I should go to bed. Guys, I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Let's all stay up together. No, don't don't stay up, guys. Don't, I, <laughs> let's all let's all go to bed and be responsible, okay? We're gonna go to bed and be responsible after I restock a couple more things. gonna DM you something because doing chat breaking one of my rules we find it interesting okay too late too late no I'm a bad influence no oh it's full got a lot of oil olive oil now we're never gonna sleep no I messed up I wish I had that stamina like I used to. That gamer stamina. Where I'd play and also the sun would come out. Play games and the sun would come out. I just can't do- I just have- I haven't been able to do that in years. <laughs> I don't remember the last time that I did that. I try to. Sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna stream until I get tired in my head. I'm like, hee hee, I'm gonna stay up all night. And then like, I'm like, Woo, it must be so late. I'm getting so pooped. And I look, it's like 9.30. <laughs> oh. So I always say I'm an old lady, but... So a lot of people my age can still do the gamer grind. Just maybe not me. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Alright, I'll check it out later. Thank you. They stayed up for 36 hours the other week. Oh my gosh. How do you guys do that? I don't know how I used to do that. Maybe it's the medical things I have. I don't know. I just can't I just can't stay awake for long periods of time. I take a lot of naps too. I just can't do it. Okay. I did take like a four hour nap today. Alright. Alright. I'll do the... I'll do the ice cream, then I'll go to bed. Mm, where's the ice cream? <laughs> I didn't realize. That's the thing. That's the best, is that you don't know, and then all of a sudden the sun comes out, and you're like, what the? You know, or like, whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna buy a lot of stuff later. I wanna keep helping. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Let's see what needs what needs a lot. I think we're doing pretty good on honestly, minus the things that we need to buy tomorrow. Alright, here, let's end the day and see what our stats are. Alright, let's see. Okay. Oop. Peanut butter sucka. Peanut butter. And then, what, what did I say I was going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to look at the stats. Okay, hold on. Once the sum came up, I was like, well, I guess I'll stay up. <laughs> I've definitely done that before when I was a kid. I was like, oh well, might as well keep going. Alright, um... Right, I was going to do this. I was going to see how close we are. Okay, so we are at... 876 out of 900. So I think that maybe like, I guess it's gonna take probably two more days of this game. And then we'll be able to hire that third cashier and then we can finally 
not worry about that. And then we'll just, our net other goal is we're trying to hit level 42 so we can get more licenses and more items. Yeah. Oh, we'll definitely need a storage upgrade too if we get that license. So maybe I should buy that now. We don't have to like use the upgrade, but like maybe we can buy the upgrade. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to how everything is set up now, so we could just keep it the way it is now, but we'll, uh, yeah, now we have the space for later. Can't believe it's Saturday already. What the heck? <laughs> it's not Saturday for you, is it? <laughs> I need another feature. What the heck? All right. Let's save. Oh my gosh, I always forget to save this game. How scary is that? What if it crashed? What if we lost all our progress today? That'd be so sad. All right. I'm Popes, guys. I'm heading off. Here's the Discord if you want to hang with us, anyone. And I'll, I don't... Uh, uh, I think my next stream is going to be either Saturday morning or Sunday night. <laughs> Trees. It's tree. It's one tree. One tree. <laughs> Uh, it's probably, probably most likely it'll be The Sims 2, um, like on Sunday night, I think. I'm gonna have to move that to the night. Oh, guys, I don't know what the heck, I don't know what to support to say. I just don't want to leave. Anyway, good night, and good day, and goodbye. Thanks for hanging. <laughs>